it for what it is. And I'm disappointed that so many people got the narrative messed up. People think that Martin soft because he put on a dress in Big Mama's house, but you got some brothers in jail rolling their stockings up right now. And there ain't nobody to be played with. Cat Williams got everybody enjoying that interview. They still talking about Club Shay Shay, but it ain't safe for this brother out there in them black Hollywood streets. He got all the clout, all the juice, all the fans, all the love, talking real bad about OGs that ain't been hot for a while. So what y'all think they gonna do when they see Cat Williams? They allegedly gonna G-check his ass the same way Martin did at the Emmys. Security so tight up in there, you would have thought them celebrities was going through the airport. Will Smith don't set it off. And if anybody talking crazy or doing anything crazy, it's gonna be dangerous. They said that Martin allegedly checked the S-H-I-T dookie out of Cat Williams. And Cat was so scared when he seen Steve, Cedric the Entertainer, and D.L. Hughley posted up on the wall waiting for him to walk by. He turned around and went home. Now, these are rumors and allegations and speculations, but somewhere deep down inside, I believe this stuff is true. They came back set tripping. The whole cast of Martin was in the building. Tachina Arnold, Regina Arnold, all of the Arnolds was there. Even Cole was up there acting the damn fool, man. And the sad part about it is, Martin treat these people like they his dogs. Martin ain't never really did nothing for nobody besides Martin. And now that Cat Williams talking crazy, he feel like he got the opportunity to go out there and show his ass. We about to talk about it, y'all. Before we do that, y'all need to do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe, and mess with me because they know I'm telling. See, that's what they do. Every time I get around to telling the truth, that's when the stream go bad. They don't want people to hear none of this stuff we got going on. People mad at me because I'm letting it be known that Cat Williams in high water with a lot of these people in Hollywood. But y'all don't want to believe that. Y'all can believe whatever y'all want to believe. But the room on the street is Martin was big, big mad. The cast of the Martin sitcom took us down a hilarious trip on memory lane. But the thing about it, it was so sad to see them up there, 60 years old, still trying to put on like they in the 90s to eat. What's her name? Tashina. Whatever the light skinned one, Gina, they said she showed up ready to fight with Vaseline around her face and everything looking for cat. You can't be talking about Martin like that because he the breadwinner and a lot of people depend on Martin to pay their bills. So when he did this interview with Club Shay Shay, it rubbed not only Martin, but a whole bunch of other people the wrong way. Martin tried to put me in my first dress. When he had to go on his hiatus, he tell me, Kat, when I come back, I need you. You my young partner, you my brother in comedy. When I come back, just promise me that my next movie, it'll be me and you. We gonna do it together. We gonna do some buddy cop shit. I said, Martin, you got my motherfucking word, my nigga. Go do what you got to do. When you come back, I'm in your movie. Don't trip. I don't need to see the script or nothing. You know we get in that office and this fool pull out Big Mama's house too. Oh my I almost died. Hold on. Wait a minute, y'all. Martin ain't tell him what the hell was going on. He snuck it on Cat. He playing little zesty games with this little zesty man. And I love Cat like everybody else, but Martin wrong for that. You lower that man into the studio. You go in the closet, come back out holding a big, big mama dress. Oh my goodness. Cat said he almost died. But he almost died allegedly when Martin got up on his ass at the image. Y'all need to see this, man. Reg, go and play that. Martin, here are Tisha Campbell, Carl Anthony Payne II, Tashina Arnold. Oh, come on with that shit. And Martin Lawrence. Damn shit. Wow. This is a real moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah Special you, moment. You right. better believe it, baby. Right. <laughs> we finally about to get it. What? 
Yeah, we getting our Emmy tonight. What? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> That's sad that he still got to be acting like that in 2024, man. <clears throat> and this is a prime example of what Cat Williams was talking about. They get up there on them stages, be showing their bad black ass, acting like rerun from what's happening. I hope they ain't tell him he had to do that because he looks sick and depressed. They was better off letting him do Big Mama's House Part 2. That would have been the classic. Cole playing Big Shirley. Oh my goodness. I don't even know if that would have made sense. Reg, go and play that. Yeah. Matter of fact, I got my speech on deck too. Yeah? No, All ready no, to go? No. And no, 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 no. All right. And they better not send Mama D out here to play me off either. What's she at? No, no, no. Carl, 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 we're not winning an Emmy tonight. Please sit your butt down. Please sit down. What you mean? Carl. Damn, well, what the hell they up there for if they ain't winning no damn? They just put them up there to make a fool out of their ass. Rest in peace to Tommy. Shit, 50 years a slave. Oh my goodness. I guess. The hell they doing up there? Oh, we're presenting an award, not being presented with one, knucklehead. I'm leaving here with something. Okay, no, wait, wait, wait. Carl isn't all the way wrong, you guys. I mean, we should have won an Emmy during our run. Just True. Yeah. True. Yeah. Way yeah. more. But, yeah, that but, would be right. That but, would be right. But we were never right. even nominated, despite our 132 episodes. What? Wow. Um, um, they brought them niggas up there just to complain. I don't even know why Kat went to the Emmys. You got all these miserable ass people in black Hollywood. They look depressed. You got two lunch ladies. A school janitor and I guess Martin's supposed to be the principal, man. They need to make a sitcom out of that. And I ain't trying to talk bad about these people, but your boy Cat Williams already done did that. I'm just letting y'all know it ain't really safe for that man out there. Who gonna go out there and help him dodge them bullets? Right now, Who gonna take them L's have... with Cat Williams? Y'all sat there, watched that video front to back, top to bottom. Ain't nobody looking out for that man. Hold up, we got some people up in the building in here. Hold on, show them some love, man. We got Anna N, Nina, Jason, Wild Boy. I see Helena. Who else over there? Um, Kimmy in the building. What's up, baby? QS, my one and only member. You the most important. We got Sis Yafa Yah Yisrael. Mia Ray and everybody else watching the video. So much love for y'all. Wait a minute. We got Grace in the building. What it do, baby? So glad you came through to show me some love. We got Vanjie Cooks. She's still holding it down with your boy. That's what it is. Okay. Y'all need to see this right quick. Reggie, go on set that up for the people. No, play the other clip. Yeah, finish playing that. Go ahead. And I got to read this script from all these good white people. Where this nigga want me to get in a dress with him. And I'm literally saying to everybody, why is he in a dress again? You already played the old lady as an FBI agent. We can play anything now. We can be playing a dog catcher this. Shit, he doing it for the culture, cat. You know sisters ain't about to go out there and see a brother doing anything positive. And that's just the truth of the matter. Either you're gonna put on the dress. Or you gonna be shoot them up, bang, bang, thugged out to the core. What other options do brothers have in Hollywood? Unless you're from the UK, you can pull a Idris Elba. Oh my but if you an American born Negro, either you gonna put on that dress or you gonna act like a pimp or a gangster or any of them other stereotypical things. And you should know, cause every movie you played in, you played a stereotype. So why ain't he just go ahead and put on the dress, man? And Martin too old to be running up on people at award shows and acting up, cutting up. This man got high blood pressure. God forbid, he probably got diabetes. Martin looks sick. It, shit. I guess that's his destiny. Especially if he want to play Big Mama. Now he got all of her damn diseases and things. The mama of all comedies is back. And they got him pulling his granny panties out his ass, man. All money ain't good money. But I bet that money was showing sure enough good while y'all talking bad. And there's plenty of brothers watching the video now. Making it seem like they'll never put on the dress. But the truth of the matter is, if somebody talking about some M's, 
Shit, you might even do your own makeup. Oh Watch this, y'all. You've got a lot of gold right here, but there's one specifically special piece. Let's talk about how it feels to be holding this thing. Um, I am a person who does not seek validation. I, I make sure that when I leave the house that I feel tall enough and special enough. And as an actor, I feel like um, the work I do before I get to set qualifies me to be a professional. And so I never was looking for anybody to say good job. Look where they interviewing his ass at y'all. He back there scared. They took him over back where the bathroom at. You gotta use the bathroom real bad. You walk past there, Cat Williams doing the interview away from every damn body. Cause there's people in that audience that's waiting for him to get close cause they gotta ask him a few questions. Hey, hey Cat, what's up playboy? I seen Club Shay Shay, what now? They in there set tripping. Men and women, he don't talk bad about people. Fathers, grandfathers, they daddy, granddaddies. Everybody is gunning for this man. And y'all okay with everything he said, but just imagine. Martin really, really good people, man. He ain't never hurt nobody. He ain't never go on an interview and say a bunch of malicious things about people. So when I heard this news that it's a possibility that they got into it, I'm going to have to roll with Martin on this one. Hold up. Uh, just our huge ratings and being in syndicated so much that it's a little hard for me to see the 90s spankless version of myself every night. You know what I'm saying, right, Tajina? She got uh, the goddamn Hello Kitty ponytail mohawk with braids and what the fuck? Oh my goodness. She got piercings on the side of her head and a row of earrings going up her ear. She trying to get into the sci-fi movies. She'll do good in Star Wars. And this she still look good, but I'm saying, damn. Is the rainbow pony her hairdresser or some shit? Reggie, answer that phone. Hello, hello, who this is here? Hey, this Marco. Oh, what's going on, Marco? How you feeling, brother? Good man, I love your show, man. I oh man, I appreciate that. No doubt, man. I'm rusty as hell. I ain't did a live in a while. I'm so glad that you called in, man. They talking about it ain't safe for cat out there in these now, black Hollywood street. Man, I heard they pulled up on him at uh, at uh, the In and Out Burger, man, and oh, they was trying to get a hold to him. Oh man, if anybody Bad going. Tires, there's some drag queens running at me, chasing me. Oh, man, if anybody going to be goofy on my show, it's going to be me. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one that cracked the joke. If you, you need, y'all need to call in and be more serious when y'all call in here. You going to hang up with your little silly, goofy ass? You think I was going to give you some airtime? Cracking all them corny ass jokes. This is real. People in black Hollywood don't work too hard to be slandering each other all in the media, man. And that's why I said this one of the saddest situations that everybody celebrating out here. And I hate to be the eyeball and I enjoyed the interview as well. But y'all got to realize that Cat Williams hurt a whole lot of people when he said what he said. A whole lot of people. It's a bunch of men out there that put on that dress. They said Ving Rhames had an attitude when he ran into Cat Williams. Oh he broke his holiday heart. It was a bunch of other people out there. Wesley Snipes act like he ain't wanted to be in the same room with Cat Williams. Because he did that movie, Wong Too Fool, whatever the hell that was. It was an Asian trans movie. I don't know what that was, but he was in it. Looking like Scarlet. It's a bunch of people in Hollywood that's in their feelings. Eddie Murphy, one of the biggest comedians in the game. Don't even want to hear Cat Williams' name no more. Will Smith allegedly was banging it out with Dwayne Martin, so you know he ain't feeling Cat neither. This man in the world of trouble. And can't nobody save him. You think Club Shay Shay gonna hop in front of a bullet with his man lingerie on? I don't think so. Look at this. 
time. Why do we need to be in a dress? And I get so mad, I say, you don't want me. You want Brandon T. Jackson. And that's who they went and got. Twice I said it, they went and got him. Just like I'm telling you, I had that other dude's work. I had all of it. All I did was say, I want to punch it up so it's not offensive to real niggas. And that's how I got in this position. Damn, man, that's kind of crazy right there. He said the boy Brandon T. Jackson, the one that did play on Big Mama's house, he pissed off about the situation. He said it wasn't the dress. Brandon T. Jackson slams Martin Lawrence's Big Mama's house. Claims wearing the dress in the film ruined his life. Ruined his life. He can't never look. He ain't. Oh my God, man, that's terrible. He always gonna be a bitch. He was in a movie with a fat suit on, with a wig, makeup. Who gonna ask him to come join a basketball game? He gonna be the last one picked every time fooling around with Martin. He tried to put that on Cat Williams and he wasn't having it. Now, every time they see each other, it's going to be a problem because he told the world how Martin wanted to see him put on the dress. And that's why my question is this, man. Do Martin deserve respect for Big Mama's house? People feel like Martin need a foot in his ass for doing Big Mama's house. Then you got other people that feel another way about it. Me personally, I feel like this, man. When them zeros start adding up on them checks, people got decisions to make. It's a bunch of brothers out there got dreams of riding in the Lamborghini. So one night in the dress could have you in between some legs a, a bunch of nights out of the year, man. So I ain't saying it's right. But if that's the decision that he made, that's the decision that he made. And for the people out there downing this man for making that decision, ain't no telling what you would do when they start racking up the meals. When they got a check in front of you for $10 million, you might take your boxes and snatch them up your ass and turn them into thongs. Oh my goodness. Hey, it is what it is. But this man said that Martin Lawrence ruined his life. Because he had him wearing a dress with some pantyhose in the movie. Look at this nigga right here. Look. Shit. He look like Raven Simone. Oh my Comedian Brandon T. Jackson says he regrets wearing the dress in Big Mama's house. Like father, like son. Yup, both of y'all zesty. Just like your daddy, Magic Johnson Jr. And no disrespect to Magic Johnson. Or all of the T.D. Jakes boys. Like father, like son. It's in your DNA, nigga. That's the way you was wired. And people really think that Martin Lawrence is his father. The power of television is crazy. You can't be out there doing no shit like that and expect to live a normal life. You go in the grocery store. Ain't that that man that played in Big Mama's? They get, he had a big old booty with some double D's. <laughs> ain't that him? I ain't never seen the movie. And I ain't never gonna see the movie. I think it's sitting right there on Amazon Prime. I ain't about to click on it. Y'all need to let me know in the comment section if y'all seen the movie. Hold on, run that back a little bit and play that all the way out. Because that ain't making no... Matter of fact, run the whole thing back and play it all the way through. Yeah, just like that. Okay, go ahead, play it. Wow, this is a real moment. Yeah, yeah. Special yeah, you, moment. You better right. believe it, baby. That's right. <laughs> we finally about to get an Emmy. What? <laughs> yeah, we getting our Emmy tonight. What? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, matter of fact, I got my speech on deck, too. Yeah, no, all no, ready to go. No. And no, 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 no. All right, and they better not send Mama D out here to play me off either. Where she at? No, no, no. Carl, 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 we're not winning an Emmy tonight. Please sit your butt down. Please sit down. What you mean? Carl, we're presenting an award. Damn, they bought back the sitcom, audience laughing in the background and everything. They trapped. 
they ain't did nothing else significant enough to where they could really win in Amy. Oh my goodness. They had the image talking about how they ain't never won the Amy. How ain't, they ain't never gonna win the Amy. How they should have won the Amy. What the fuck y'all there for? Martin to lead your ass to hell. Oh I wouldn't even want to follow Martin back to his house, man. Your ass gonna fly off the expressway somewhere. He a horrible leader. And they still follow his ass. They said they was acting like some damn dogs at the award show. Y'all heard Cole up there barking. Oh! Martin got three bowls laid out on the floor. Kimball's and bits and some water on the side, man. This is the saddest thing ever. And the rumor is the dude that played Tommy was on his way to be a bigger star than all of them. He signed a multi-million dollar deal allegedly to do his own show. But before that could take off, he no longer here. Shit, if they would have put him in Big Mama's house, he would have stole the show. Big ass Tommy, seven foot tall with a dress on. Tyler Perry would have been jealous. Hold on. Run that back. Go and play that. Before I get to set, qualifies me to be a professional. And so I never was looking for anybody to say good job. I just wanted the people to say it. But then I realized tonight that these are the people. These are the people. And we can see the work that you put into your character in Alligator Man. I mean, how did you get into that headspace? Was that a character that you took along with you? Hold on. I ain't never seen that before. He said alligator man. Wait, let me do a little bit of uh, investigations on this. Because I'm a fan of Cat Williams now. Before that interview, I wasn't even really checking for Cat like that. But now, he my favorite comedian. And I think he the king of comedy, man. Alligator man. No, I don't want to see the Emmy. I want to see the damn. What the hell? the movie about did he have a big role or a small role or did anybody see the movie because i ain't seen it man damn was his name june bug in the movie why the hell he look like that i gotta see this is it a good movie was he playing the dope fiend in the movie they really had alligators in the movie oh my the hell it's a TV show. And he won an Emmy for that. Said, them children ain't lying to you. It's an alligator in the house, baby. Somebody come get this gator. I like gators on my feet, but I don't like them in my house. Oh my goodness. I need to see this tonight. He was in jail. Hey, man, I don't know, but uh, the, lamp, the season of Alligator Man. The fuck? Is it the show Atlanta or is it y'all going to have to help me out in the comment section, man? Because like I said, I just got into Cat Williams. So y'all going to have to let me know. He said it's in the Atlanta show. Is that show zesty? Because that's the reason why I ain't want to tune in to I got to limit that shit. You know what I'm saying? You watch too much of that stuff. You're going to have some issues. That's like watching uh, P-Valley or something like that. Gage Gore, what'd he do, bro? He said, pull up the Alligator Man clip. That's what y'all want to see? All right, that's what we're going to do. Make sure y'all hit that like button. And the phone line's open, too. Y'all could call in. Feel free to do that. But right now, I got to pull up this Cat Williams clip. Hold on, let me type this in real quick. Y'all stay tuned. Cat Williams, Alligator Man. Yeah, let's see what that's all about. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. Get it together. Um, all right, here we go. You gotta get out there. I don't want shit to get crazy. Oh no, it's already crazy up in here, bro. This nigga got a full-grown caiman in here, surrounded by chicken carcasses. Shit like an azalea bank Snapchat. I'm on probation. I can't go to jail, all right? If there's gonna be a shootout, I need to get out of here. A shootout? Nigga, I'm not crazy. I'm not Florida, man. 
I just know the law. As long as I didn't do shit, all I gotta do is stay in my house. Look, I don't know if you're high right now, but you're getting on my last nerve. Uh-oh. Fulton County has no problem coming in here and cuffing all of us, okay? Don't be an <laughs> Don't be an idiot. How you trying to tell me about myself? You homeless, Ern. You don't even have a mirror to look at yourself. Okay, that's it. I'm watching it. I'm going to watch it. Yo. Matter of fact, let me get on. Um, what do I got to do to watch this, y'all? Is it on stars? Where the hell is that? I'm going to get on Amazon to figure it out. Because Cat, he actually doing some damn acting. And I didn't think he would be able to do it. Especially after seeing Money Mike. I thought that was it. I didn't know he had range. He looking like a young Denzel Washington. Oh my goodness. He played the shit out of that role. Samuel Jackson somewhere trembling in his boots right now. The way he looking at the money is very convincing. Oh man, I ain't know. It was just one episode he did. No wonder Martin mad. Martin ain't never played a serious role in his life. And that's embarrassing. When you forever a clown, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to say the brother a clown. <sighs> but that Martin show and Big Mama, so I can't think of nothing that he did that wasn't foolish, man. Hold up, look at this, y'all. This one I knew that Martin was completely making a fool out of himself, man. And disrespecting the culture and all different types of shit, man. He got on the football Michael Jordan jersey. The Black Knight with some Pumas on and he out with the hat to the back with the shades and he got the sword in this. The Black Knight. Man. How do he sleep at night? Doing shit like this. This is a mockery. He out there in England. He a brother out there from the hood. In the 17th century. He fighting for the queen and shit. He the black. Get this. He time traveled or some bullshit. Come on, man. Oh my goodness. All money ain't good money. And I'm just getting started. Matter of fact, let me shut up about it. Y'all need to hear what Martin had to say about it, man. Because I can't speak for him, but he could damn sure speak for himself. Listen at this, y'all. So what made you return to Big Mama again for the third time? Well, I enjoy playing the character. And uh, she's fun for me to play. Um, oh I understand her, <laughs> you know, and uh, just a joy to me, for me to play her. What do you think is the secret? What, what? Come on, dog, Nigga, nigga, oh please. He know he sold out. Look at the look on his face. They got a picture of him and his son pulling their drawers out their ass. Look at that. Like father, like son. Digging all the guy. Dookie booties on deck with, dre <laughs> with dresses on. And what world? I enjoy playing her. I understand her. He, he in touch. He can channel Big Mama at any moment, man. Oh my goodness. He be in the kitchen. Next thing you know, he take that shit all the way down to the ground. You put on that Anita Baker, this motherfucker gonna freak off. Sweet potato pies, bacon. He got the cornbread going at the same time. But he can channel Big Mama, man. I just don't get it. He look cockeyed like he trying to snap out of him in the sunken place. Run that back one more time. I can't believe it. So what made you return to Big Mama again for the third time? Well, I enjoy playing the character and uh, she's fun for me to play. Um, I understand her, <laughs> you know, and uh, just a joy to me, for me to play her. What do you think is the secret behind the success of the franchise? Um, I think people enjoy the character. I think... Uh, Everyone can relate to the character. Uh, everyone has a big mom in their family, you know, be it their grandmother or mother or. But you supposed to be big daddy. You. 
how you gonna represent for Big Mama? And the crazy part about it is the man asking him questions. They take these sound clips and these audio clips because people around the world want to know what the fuck is going on. Oh you ain't never seen no Indian Big Mama movie. That's something unheard of. This shit look like something. It's definitely foreign to foreigners. Why would a man like father, like son, you got people in Dubai pissed the hell off. Like, what the f is he thinking? They want to hear why he would even do some shit like this. They take this interview, send it over to other countries so they can translate what the hell this nigga talking about. Oh my goodness. Now I see why Cat Williams is so pissed off. Listen to this, y'all. Had to put me in my first dress. When he had to go on his. Martin tried to put me in my first dress. When he had to go on his hiatus, he tell me, Cat, when I come back, I need you. You my young partner, you my brother in comedy. When I come back, just promise me that my next movie, it'll be me and you. We gonna do it together. We gonna do some buddy cop shit. I said, Martin, you got my motherfucking word, my nigga. Go do what you gotta do. When you come back, I'm in your movie. Don't trip. I don't need to see the script or nothing. You know we get in that office and this fool pull out Big Mama's house too. <laughs> I almost died. <laughs> oh my God, man. He couldn't believe it. Like, nigga, you still on that big mama shit? He went back and did it again. He doubled up on it. He went back for a second helping. Like, mm. Like that shit was on point. Matter of fact, cat, I got something for you. He pulled out the wig with the dress with the fat suit and everything. Like, this your size. This is your size. Like you tooty fruity in the booty ass. Oh my goodness. Richard Simmons, Lil Richard. Oh, fuck it. Lil Nas X ass nigga, man. Oh, Tyler Perry, Jamie Foxx ass nigga. Hold on, man. I got to listen to what Kat said. Listen at this. And I got to read this script from all these good white people. <laughs> where this nigga want me to get in a dress with him. And I'm literally saying to everybody, why is he in a dress again? You already played the old lady as an FBI agent. We can play anything now. We can be... Oh, man, he tried to help them people see... <laughs> That Martin, a grown ass man. Like, they don't know that. If he with it, if he willing to bend over, they gonna bang. Man, I feel bad for kid. He gotta be losing his mind in Hollywood. Thank God for integrity. Like, I'll pimp some bitches before I put on a dress. Damn. My mind is over here blown, man. That's why this interview is so epic. Because you ain't got no choice but to see it for what it is, man. People let all this shit slide. We ain't letting it slide no more. You can't do an interview talking about, oh, you enjoy being Big Mama. Nigga, no, you didn't. And if you did, the hell is wrong with you? Matter of fact, listen at this. Where'd you get it? There you go. Had in their pants, but everybody calls me Big Mama. Well, I'm Curtis Cooper. I make the ladies. Oh hell no! He a fat face on liar. This nigga. Oh my goodness. He trying to holler at Big Mama. Oh, you dirty bastard. You nasty dog. No wonder Cat Williams ain't got no love for them. Gaze on love. He put his hand out, waiting for Martin to put one of them titties on it. He looking down at his hand like, excuse me, mister, but you a little too close to my breast. They had phase on the man. Reggie, run that back one more time. I can't even believe this shit. Hold on. They did a big mama's house part three. They got three of them shits. Oh, my God, man, I ain't have a clue 
They had three big mo He did that shit three times. They made a trilogy. Hold on. Listen to that this, y'all. But everybody calls me Big Mike. Oh, this nigga, he was licking his lips. Oh, man, get the fuck out of here. He hit him with the bedroom eyes and every damn thing. And Faison looking at them. Look how he looking at them titties. Oh, my goodness. His name Curtis. Nigga name Hattie Mae. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I swear this is the last time. The name is Hattie Mae Pierce. <laughs> but everybody calls me Big Mike. God, this nigga got the slack jaw and every damn thing. They made him look like so. This disrespect for the black women, man. Why would he do this and he got a black mama? Look how they got his, his face sagging all fat and stank. He look like he got diabetes, gout, all that shit with a curl or with a blonde curly wig on. And, oh my God, man. That's how they really feel about sisters. They probably put the baby powder on his ass and everything. He got bags under his eyes. That nigga look tired. Oh my goodness. Oh Lord. Why they got him sitting up there looking so damn tired? Like he be, he had to fight all his damn life. You know, had about three, four ex-husbands. They all dead. He's still living. He probably really had to get into a big mama character to really play that shit, man. Because he looked dead ass serious about that big mama shit. He said he can channel the character and everything. He take, he'd go to sleep with the stockings on, the baby powder, the cheap ass perfume, nigga. He make it soul food, dinners, listening to gospel music, trying to get in the character. What type of madness is this? Hold on, this is the last time, I promise. I'm gonna let it play. Go on, play there. The name is Hattie Mae Pierce, <laughs> but everybody calls me Big Mom. <laughs> What the fuck type? This shit ain't even funny. Oh <laughs> Phase on, gay for pay, y'all. Oh Can't tell me he ain't. But snatch that shirt off in every movie here, but bend over all we have wiggle that booty in front of that camera. Nigga Bar said, I'ma keep my saliva in my mouth. He's like, ah, no, you ain't, no, you ain't, no, you ain't. He got that look on his face like, now nah, that's a goddamn lie. Martin did look how Martin did his neck. He looking at him like, mm, like oh, suck it, suck it now. Oh my God, man! Hold on, okay, listen, listen. Well, that's nice, but I'm gonna keep my saliva in my mouth. <laughs> well, back in the day, I used to run the road to run the. You probably recognize me from my appearance in Crush Crew. I was a brother with the dope sham in the car. Come on, man. Hold on, bro. No, 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 no. Oh, this nigga leaned up on the wall, macking hard. He was macking hard on Big Mama. He talking all that these and this nigga. Oh my man. In front of all these good white people. 
where this nigga want me to get in a dress with him. And I'm literally saying to everybody, why is he in a dress again? You already played the old lady as an FBI agent. We can play anything now. We can be playing a dog catcher this time. Why do we need to be in a dress? And I get so mad, I say, you don't want me. You want Brandon T. Jackson. Hold on, man. I just caught Cat Williams' is, man, this brother. <clears throat> he deep, man. He deep. He said he tried to convince them people, look, let him be a dog catcher. Y'all want to degrade a brother so bad, have him chasing dogs. I chase the dog with him, man. I will have more integrity as a black man being a dog catcher than wearing a damn dress. Oh my Hell, let me be a janitor. I can make that shit funny. Since that's the only way y'all want to pay somebody to make us all look like some damn fools. And we ain't worth the damn and we ain't got the credentials to do shit. Let him play a dog catcher. Why he got to put on the dress again? If he an FBI agent and he going undercover, why he always got to go undercover as Big Mama? They ain't trying to hear that. And he said, if y'all want somebody to play the role, I got the perfect person for y'all, man. Go get Brandon T. Jackson and let him play the role. He'll do it. I got the perfect nigga for y'all ass, man. That's crazy. Hold on. Brandon T. Jackson. I need to see what he had to say about this, man. Because he said it ruins his life. Oh, listen at this. Listen, listen. Consider that. Oh, goddamn. Get them ads out of here, Reggie. Okay, here we go. Y'all listen at this. Went wrong. It's like everything went right. Everything went wrong when I put on that dress. Pre big mamas, to me, I have I, actually, that's like a, you know, you have an AD, you're like AD, BC. Okay. It's like BM for me. My career pre BM. So big mama was a changing point. Yeah. 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 What it made like it a, a changing point? Was it that it was Martin or just everything was aligning up at the right time for you? It was a negative changing point, to be honest. Okay. Positive in a way where the perception of, of my image was on every bus, but my personal life was, was in shambles in that time. It was horrible. Well, you want to expound on that? What do you mean? like? If I was a stand-up at the time, season like I am now, I could tell the story. Mm -hmm. And that's, it's, that's the issue. It's like, how are you able to tell your story? The most mm -hmm. most elegant way, eloquent, saying in an eloquent way. I couldn't say what I was going through because it's almost like, like you know, if you're a baby, you can't communicate. Oh, I get it. I get it now. Okay, I understand. Why Cat told them people to go get this man right here and you had the best person for the job. And they went out there and got him. And bought him in there, and he figured, hell, I'm going to be working with Martin Lawrence. He young, he dumb. He already zesty. He like, shit, maybe I could really pull this one off. Damn. And Martin took that young man under his wing and put that, walked him through the process. And this man, he ain't been the same since, man. Cat Williams, <laughs> he said, I know the nigga for the job. Call up Brandon and let him, he'll definitely play the role for y'all. But it ain't gonna be me. Damn. Cat know, man, Cat know every damn thing. He said he'll pay for the information. People offering him information about people. He know who he up against. He done shit. He know what's going on at them parties. He know who the Zesties and all that is, man. This nigga Omarion, and they have him in the movie playing like he a straight thug. He probably figured, hell, I do Big Mama's house. That's closer to what I really am. Got him acting like he a hardened criminal. Y'all see this shit? Hollywood is a trip. And all them gangster movies... Them people don't really be gangsters. Oh my Shit, I thought 
Idris Elba was a dope dealer when I was watching uh, The Wire. Come to find out his ass ain't even from America. He sound just like one of them dudes in B-more and ain't even from there. This, they had him. They had him looking like Raven Simone. He like, oh, oh, I ain't taking my dress off. Like, you take your dress off. He had them door knocker earrings jingling, baby. This nigga. He moaning on every scene, just, uh. -huh. He thought that was going to be a big slogan in America. He got a t-shirt talking about, uh. -huh. He like, bitch, I'm thinking they're making the stallion. Like, I'm thinking that Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, Lil' Kim, and I'm definitely thinking of making a stallion. They had his shit. They put the bang, the, the shallow bang in the front with it thick on the sides, man. Nigga look like he work at Popeye's or some shit. He like, uh-huh. Whatever Mars say, all right. What type of shit is this? And got nerve to bring up. Oh my god, man. I ain't even gonna go there on this dude. But it is what it is. Hold on. Yo, run run that bag one more time. Look at this. Want me to get in a dress with him. And I'm literally saying to everybody, why is he in a dress again? You already played the old lady as an FBI agent. We can play anything now. We can be playing a dog catcher this time. Why do we need to be in a dress? And I get so mad, I say, you don't want me. You want Brandon T. Jackson. And that's who they went and got. Twice I said it, they went and got him. Just like I'm telling you, I had that other dude's work. I had all of it. All I did was say, I want to punch it up so it's not offensive to real niggas. And that's how I got in this position. Hold on, man. He said that he put it in his contract to where he had never worked with Ricky Smiley on the movie unless he put a dress on. And when it came time for them to do another movie, Ricky Smiley had on the dress the whole damn movie. Hold up. Ricky What was it, last Sunday or some shit like that? What was the name of the movie? First Sunday, some bullshit. But they were stuck in the church or some bullshit. But shit, this is another big mama. <clears throat> A Bible thumping, booty pumping. Damn. That's how these brothers nigga look like a fire victim. Like they pulled his ass out just in time before his soul left his body. Nigga got burn scars for all eternity. They lit that ass up like a, a match. Oh, I know they ain't Ricky Smiley and his girlfriend. Oh, this nigga, I can't believe it. Did he? He done sold out on so many levels. He must hate black women. He'll put on the dress and bring a white girl to the award show. Oh my goodness. Must can't stand his mama. He did it again. He in the hotel with the nigga. Shit, that dress shit probably turned her ass on. He's like, do Aunt Bernice, please. Can you do Aunt Bernice? They see a brother with a dress on, they lose their damn mind. Like, oh shit. Like, I get to have the ding dong and the ping pong. Oh my goodness. Like, he's got it going on. Like the way he licks his lips with the lick stick, it reminds me of Amy and his body is like so LeBron James. They be living out their wildest fantasy with a zesty brother on their arm. He's the best of all worlds, girls, men, women, boys, children, black, white, you name it. 
Ricky Smiley. Put that makeup on heavy. Hold on. I want to see Cat Williams in the movie because he did some zesty shit too, man. Hold on. Cat. And why y'all not calling in? Y'all dead wrong for that. Look at this nigga. Purple rain. All day, every day. Purple rain. Ooh, what? Why he get to call everybody zesty? But y'all wouldn't dare call him zesty, man. And y'all wanna know what it is? People love Cat Williams like they love Prince. He the modern day, he a mixture of a whole lot of shit, man. He Prince, he Tupac, he all that. He got a, a, a whole bunch of black seasonings that black people like, man. You can't go wrong with Cat Williams. He gangster like Tupac. He zesty like Prince, but don't nobody really know. And you don't want to think Prince was zesty because that's Prince you talk about, even though he got the purple and blues and the baby pinks and all that shit. He stayed with a bad bitch on his arm. Shit, you can pay. Hey, it is what it is, man. He the modern day Biggie, Tupac, all the people that died. They went to cat. I don't give a damn who it is. If they was black and they was famous and they passed away, he got King Vaughn up in there. Oh my goodness. He got a little bit of everything. Both of his wrists broke. He wanted the world to know. He came out like, oh! I break both of them motherfuckers in front of everybody. He pop locking the Kirk Franklin songs all in the movie. What type of shit is this, man? Got on a pink, a pink suit, a pink shirt with a fried out perm. He look like a damn poodle. Or angry chihuahua or some shit. Hold on, man. Okay, let's get back to um what this man was talking about real quick. Cause Martin tripped me out with this man. Hold on, get play the other clip. Oh my god, yeah, we gotta look at this little little. Run that back, run that back, Rachel. Well, back in the day, I used to run the roads to run DMC. You probably recognize me from my appearance in Crush Crew. I was a brother with the dope shaman and car wash. Hold on, man. This nigga was, was, was that really him and Crush Groove? At the car wash when they got fired? Oh, man. I got to do a little bit of investigation, man. Because that could have been his fat ass out there <laughs> spinning on his head when they was breakdancing in Crush Groove. Do we re Do y'all really want to go through this, man? Because I'll pull that shit up. Hold up. He said he was with Run DMC back in the day. Hold on. Crush. Groove. Damn, I got to spell it with a K. Crush. Groove. Call. Wow, she had to put that in. Oh, damn. Oh, man. I'm looking for it, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Oh, I could get to the part. Y'all need to hit that like button. I'm over here risking my life. Giving y'all this information, man, because if Faison Love Fat Ass was in this Crush Groove movie, I'm going to fall out on the floor. Hold on, there it go right there. There it go. Oh, shit. Run it back. Ratchet, get it together. Okay, here we go. All right, we got to figure this out together. I ain't trying to get no copyright strike. I'm trying to hold that go to call. Faison Love in it. Hold on. Wait. Is that his fat ass back then? Wait a minute. Play that a little bit. Is that phase on love right there? I think that's him. Man, it, them people in Hollywood. They gonna break your all your integrity down, man. They gonna make a mockery out of you. Out there. Look at this. Here's 
Well, my last tour was with uh, LL Cool J. Oh, my goodness. In the words of the great master, but I said, not you. This man threw his hand up in there and started winding that shit in a circle. Look. He can't even go to the mall without the security man trying to get all up in them guts, man. He going through it as an old woman. This nigga still trying to wear the tat that ass. Say, I'm a, I'm a grandmother. With, first of all, oh my I'm a grandmother with children. So why you telling me all your escapades and all this shit? You would run DMC and you trying to impress me like I'm gonna just take off my bra. You trying to talk me out of my panties and all this shit. I am a grandmother with children. And I'm just trying to get out of the way, man. What type of shit is this? What the fuck? Curtis Kobe, you're backstage. <laughs> this man don't flirt his way with, with the damn library, man. What type of shit? He willing to throw that ass to get a tour of the library. This nigga said, I'm about to get you a backstage pass. Big Mama was a hoe. And she know how to work that shit to get whatever she want up out of a nigga. Oh my goodness. Wow. Reading the script, you figure Faze on Love would have been like, I ain't saying that, none of that shit. Now you want me to say... He looked that man dead in his eyes. You would, y'all suppose. They came up on the damn Def Comedy Jam era. Oh my, this is so sad. Black Hollywood, man, I just don't know. They need to take all the movies and put them in a the bonfire. I'm talking about all of Menace in Society, Boys in the Hood. They need to take uh, Traps, all that bullshit. South Central, the whole Friday series, they need to put that on last. All the Jada Pinkett movies, Jason's lyrics, uh, Boys in the Hood, <clears throat> all them new movies on Tubi. Just take all that shit and just put it in a big old bonfire. Because this is embarrassing, man. I ain't know. It was this bad until Cat Williams started exposing people. He really don't broke the mold with that. I can't even stop thinking about it, man. I'm cat, 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 cat. You ain't never heard nobody keep it real like that. Listen at this, y'all. Found our guy. Hold up. Y'all, we all wait while we get this together. Reggie, go and play that. There you go. Prince. You met Prince. Prince was a friend of mine. He was a friend of mine. What was those conversations? Because he's, look, I mean, sometimes we don't really re understand or, or appreciate someone until they're gone. I did. I was a big Prince fan. All of this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Because he could play all the instruments. He could sing. He could dance. He was an entertainer yeah. that could sing. And what he wrote, I mean, who thinks of Cherry Moons? Who thinks it snows in April? Who a raspberry beret or a, a, a pink cashmere? Oh but shit! I don't found something. Y'all might want to take a good look at this. I love Shay Shay like Shay Shay like everybody else, man. I ain't got nothing but love for Shay Shay, but damn, that man lingerie on, sitting in front of Cat Williams, 
talking about Prince, Strawberry, Max, Cashmere, Pink Berets, and all that shit. They got on man lingerie. The shit damn there, you would have thought he was naked. The clothes, his complexion. Sitting on, he just melted all into the shit. The snicker ball nigga. Sitting across from Cat Williams talking about, but I don't know what to believe. T.D. Jake's a power bottom. I don't know what's going on, man. Oh my Martin, been wearing dresses since the 90s. We ain't think nothing was wrong with it. I'm, I'm confused. Hold on, y'all need to see this shit. Don't really re understand or, or appreciate someone until they're gone. I did. I was a big Prince fan. All of this stuff <laughs> yeah. because he could play all the instruments. He could sing. He could. He was an entertainer. Yeah. That could sing. And what he wrote. I mean, who thinks of Cherry Moons? Who thinks it snows in April? Hold on. It ain't do what I wanted to do, man. Hey, y'all need to get this together, man. Because people showed up to see the video. They want to see it done right. Y'all quit playing with people, man. Okay, I do apologize. Y'all need to see this real. Look at this. Yeah. Because he could play all the instruments. He could sing. He could dance. He was an entertainer. Yeah. That could sing. And what he wrote. I mean, who thinks of Cherry Moons? Who thinks it snows in April? Who a raspberry beret or a, a, a pink cashmere? Is 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 that normal <clears throat> for men to do that? I mean, you ain't gonna be overly masculine all the time, but damn, the, with the the neck roll, man, is that? Hey, I guess that that's what people like. Hey, if it make you feel good, go on and do it, man. I can't judge nobody for being the way that they are. And regardless of how you are, as long as you happy with it, I'm happy with it too, man. But this shit got me thinking. Club Shay Shay. Oh and Cat Williams went up in there and turned that motherfucker out. Was this some real nigga shit? Or some zesty shit? Or is it a mixture of both? Is it zesty enough for real niggas to feel okay with it? Oh my goodness. Is that what it is? It was perfect. It had all the seasonings on it. It had real nigga shit, zest nigga shit. It had it all. It's for the culture. And maybe that's why it got all these damn views. It hit the sweet spot for people of color. Like black people was licking their fingers after the interview like delicious. Zesty man, check. Buff man, check. Pimp shit, check. Real nigga shit, check. Checking niggas, check. Drama, check. It just hit all the fucking check marks, man. And people just won't stop talking about it. Oh, I ain't done talking. It been shit. Ain't nothing else going on. And it ain't been nothing going on for a minute. Oh my goodness. Hold on, look at this, man. <clears throat> Y'all need to see this. This man, Cat Williams, don't went up there. Look how many views that Lord have mercy. Oh my goodness. I'm be talking about this shit all year. 50 million. And it's the hottest thing and it's still smoking. This shit, this better than every Biggie album. This interview better than every Tupac album. This is going down in the history books. It's going to be Shaft, The Mac, and the Cat Williams Unleashed Club Shay Shay. <laughs> People going to get this on DVD just to put it with the rest of their classic movies. Like I remember it was 2024 and Cat Williams laid that shit down. Oh shit, we going to be great grandmothers and grandfathers talking about Cat. And back in my day, Cat Williams set shit straight. We wasn't playing none of that wearing dresses and all that. No, that was in the Martin Lawrence era. We don't do that shit. No, I was raised up in the Cat era. They gonna do documentaries about this man. He gonna be shit. Bigger than MLK. Oh my goodness. Cat Williams gonna have a holiday. They gonna, man... 
if something happened to Cat, niggas going to be in their feeling so bad, they going to have to take Juneteenth and turn it into Cat Williams Day. People love little Cat. He probably got some niggas snuggling up to his feet while he in the bed. They around his house acting like some damn cats. They waiting in the window just looking at his ass. He can't do no wrong. Until one <laughs> Until one of them kids beat his ass again. Oh man. That little boy, hold on, before we get out of here, man, we got a whole bunch of shit we got to get into. <laughs> but that little boy beat that ass. <laughs> hey, we all take L's and everything, man. Everybody don't took an L, but damn. <clears throat> oh, man. He had him on the ground and everything. Look. He ran to the blackest little boy he could find. Like, oh, you ain't no real nigga like that. Hold on. Man, that boy was like an MMA fighter, man. And I know y'all don't want to see Cat like that. And I'm I'm a sucker for even playing that. I apologize, but damn. He hit that little boy. He went, that boy went full bananas on his ass. He must ain't realized he was in the damn jungle. He hit that boy. What? He flipped. Shit, all his primal instincts kicked in on cat ass, man. He was on, he was ready to go. Whew, I ain't never seen somebody react so damn fast. That little boy was on go. Whoop that ass down there in the poking bean. Cat Williams in Miami Gardens. He must ain't know where the hell he was at. They say that's a young Kodak Black that beat his ass. But that's Negro here nor there. We ain't got to keep talking about that. Hold on. Earthquake said something about cat. Listen to that. The gang on that side. They know what it is. They know who the gang is. Why Earthquake not in movies? Because he's illiterate. He can't read. And they found that out when they gave him a show and put the cards in front of him. What is he talking about? He's lying. I mean, but I don't address that. You know what I mean? I don't. I ain't gonna lie. That response was all nice and cool. Okay, people doing anything for Cloud. Y'all see this shit? People just chase and shine all day. You can't even enjoy the celebrities. Some nope, whoever she is, just got to put her face on the camera with all. <sighs> it is what it is. I'm getting by tired, tired, sick of this shit, man. You think you clicking on the video to see what the celebrity got to say? It's some nigga in the trailer somewhere. Licking his lips, running his mouth like he the damn celebrity. I'm sick of this shit. Or you got people that'll watch a video. They just be sitting there licking their lips, watching the video while you watching the video. Like, yeah, they trying to be all cool and sexy and shit, smoking a cigarette. This nigga right here. This nigga right there. He right there. That's him. Put his ass. Put him on the screen. This nigga right here. Look, y'all see him? He'll sit there, drink him some Kool-Aid and watch a video while you watching him. He watching you while you watching the video. I'm sick of shit like this, man. And shout out to Urban Politics TV. <clears throat> but damn. You're like, shit, them bitches going to be in my DM tonight. Let me film this little video and shit. First bitch pop in my DM, I'm going to go bang. Like DM's going crazy. DM's going crazy. Like, uh oh, got another one. Oh he over there. He got a paycheck and a sex life. He, he over there living his damn life. Oh my 
But I don't, I don't, I ain't click on the video to see his ass though. Oh man. He need to put his face dead smack in the middle of the damn thumbnail. That way people would know they got to look at his ass too. Ain't none of this shit real. Hold on. TK Kirkland watches footage of Cedric the Entertainer. Still in a joke. Hold on. It's a whole bunch of shit I want to see. Oh, we need to look at this. Look, look, look. Reggie, get I'm that set up. And get that out of here. And y'all need to hit that like. Pretty please. Okay, there you go. Go on, play. It's not Lori. Y'all ready, game? Sure, why not? Ready, ready. Rock real steady. On the lap, you're sitting. Did you wait? No, no. Abby, isn't Jeremy on the other side? Where, like, I have to show you. Ow! All right, Bernie, he's actually going to sit on her. No, no. Okay. Do we have the apple? Oh, my God. They want, they want brothers. They want niggas. They want brothers to be zested. They that's what they want. If you gonna be in that business, they don't want you walking around there acting like you Malcolm X or somebody. Oh my goodness! They gonna break that damn back, so you gonna be straight, and they ain't got a deal. You ain't gonna be too tough to deal with. They tried to make that little boy sit on Bernie, Bernie Mac lap twice. He taller than Bernie. He had to put his hand on his lap just to keep them from putting, letting that boy sit on his lap. They got to be able to tame your ass, man. And you know what? There's some shit that tripped me out, man. <clears throat> Y'all need to look at this. Because this some real shit. I'm on my cat Williams tonight. Look at this, man. I couldn't understand this for the life of me, but now it's all starting to make sense, man. I'm finally starting to get it. How in the hell do they take them wild beasts and tame them things? They had them shits eating out the palm of their hands. They be feeding cereal to the damn tigers and the lions. and These wild animals be kissing their ass. I be like, damn, how do they do it? What type of superpowers? Look, they be ze zesty as all hell. Shit, they like, shit, you do that animal like you do somebody else that you want to tame. Man, I think, I don't know what they be doing to them animals. But whatever they doing to them animals, I think they doing it to the people in Hollywood too. And if you ain't going to reform or you ain't going to go along with their program... You just ain't going to be able to get a check. So to see phase on love in a movie like this and Martin Lawrence and all these comedians, they shit. That's what it is around there. It, uh, it's starting to click now. If you shit, if you won't get paid, you got to play. Mer Bernie Mac wasn't feeling none of that shit. Hold on, run that back one more time. Y'all need to pay attention at this. Hold on, Palman in the building. Wait a minute, damn, wait a minute, baby. I ain't seen you in a long time. Where she at, Reggie? There she go. Hold on, I could have swore I seen Palman over. Where she go? Oh, man, my mind playing tricks on me. So I could have, was she over there? Palman. Damn, man. I'm over here seeing ghostesses and shit. But that's Negro here nor there. Let's get back to this video. Of my life, Erica Badu. Oh, uh, yeah, pull that clip back up and slow that down, Reggie, because they need to see that. Okay, there you go. Listen at this. This is crazy. That's so amazing, man. Bernie Mac, he's sitting there with them kids. They're getting ready to take the picture. He got the Bernie Mac show. Y'all ready? 
Ready, Freddy. They ready to do the damn thing, but it's only one problem. That little boy needs somewhere to sit down in the picture. They was trying to turn him into a Michael Jackson ass. Bernie, he trying to keep his composure, his integrity. He already knows some sucker shit going on. Oh my God, man. Rest in peace to Bernie. <clears throat> Her ass. Look, look at that. Look, look, look. As soon as that boy sat down, everybody trying to get comfortable. Why don't y'all let them niggas get comfortable and take the damn picture? They trying to get cozy. Ready, Freddy. They, they, they know how to sit next to each other and make a good looking picture. Oh they know how to size each other up. And make sense of a situation. They ain't stupid. You act like they in the damn zoo. Lord have mercy. That's bad. Like they ain't got enough sense to get together and sit together and take a damn picture. They was doing just fine before y'all started. What's wrong with where that boy sitting at? He got him a good old comfortable spot next to Bernie, man. Hold on, look, look at that, man. This pissing me off, y'all. Comfortable spot. They rhyming and shit. That's crazy. They sitting up there getting it together like black folks do. They rhyming in the whole nine. They feeling good, ready to get that paper. Hold on, man. I do apologize. Look. No. He got no. up and put his. Oh my God, man. Oh my goodness. That boy already been groomed. That's so damn sad. To where he got up and he knew what they wanted him to do and gave him a big old thumbs up, like, sure, my guy. Whatever, Bernie, I'm with it. Like, how do you think I got here, dude? Like, you know how it go, right? They got him on some Steve Urkel shit. Damn. That's fucked up. Look. He got... This, this nigga, Bernie, Bernie ain't even move his arm so the boy could sit down. His ass scooted his booty scooted Bernie's hand off of his own damn thigh. He slid on that man's lap and put his thumb up in his face. Where the f*** they find him at? Hold up. What the f***? No, no. What the hell? That's so sad. Damn. Shit, they want your ass to be nice and easy when you even get in the dough. Don't even, you can't even get close to the dough if you ain't already been whipped into shape for the industry, man. And it got me thinking about them basketball players. Before they get drafted, they be having them agents and shit. They shit, they going to try to catch your ass when you in college. They even catch them when they in high school. A lot of times LeBron James ain't even go to college. They snatched his ass up straight out of high school and was waiting for his ass to graduate. Hold on, man.
This fool LeBron James had a Hummer when he was in high school. And gas was high as hell back then. He show up throwing up the rock in high school with a Hummer. He, he, who in the hell gonna give you what the hell they be having with the shit? Don't nobody play basketball that damn good. Your ass gonna be the damn gigolo of the industry. Have your ass up in them parties. We got a six footer, six, seven footer. Yep, we'll introduce you to my young prospect, Mr. LeBron James. What's going on? Where the party at? Where the money at? They be knowing Diddy before they even get famous. Like I was hanging with Diddy before I even got famous, man. I was, I was with Diddy for two years. I've been at them Diddy parties since I was 12. I grew up with Usher. We was at them Diddy parties together. Man, what the hell going on? People really out here prostituting their kids. And that should have been a well-known thing when the R. Kelly trial took off. Y'all seen firsthand how people be selling out their damn kids to the entertainment business, man. Look, look, look. She picked, she picked him up and walked him over there. What type of shit is that? She went and got his ass like he was a baby and walked him over to that man's lap. She about to take that man. He looking like, bitch, hold on. Bernie looking like you tripping like a motherfucker today. Oh, man. They must don't know who they fucking with. Bernie looking at her while she reaching for his hand like, bitch, he brought, man. He look like he about ready to slap the hell out of that hoe. Hold on, man. Look at this. The whole mood just changed. They all look sad. Oh my goodness. It looked like a, a dark cloud and it's just raining over them. Like they look broken and bad. Man, they all look so damn miserable. Like they say what they do, what they tell them to do, and they say what they tell them to say. That's how I go. You, you know, that's the business. Your black ass, you you do what we tell you to do, and you say what we tell you to say. It's really that simple, man. And this some old crazy shit right here, man. The girl that played Vanessa, she grown up now, but she on some old super freak shit. And I'm like, damn, I understand she grown and she could do what she want to do. And she just, you know, she a woman and everything. She got the right to express her sexuality, all that good stuff. But she out here cheesy. She on some... I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Beautiful sister, but damn. Why she got to be Lil' Kim? It is what it is, man. That's her prerogative. I ain't going to be speaking on that like that. 
Shit, I don't got lost in this Bernie Mac shit. I don't forgot about Cat Williams and Martin Lawrence. Oh my goodness. How long we been on here? We got to get back to Cat. How come? It, why y'all ain't calling in here, man? Matter of fact, I need to start cussing people out. Put on some sad ass music. I need something sad. Yeah. D that's perfect. I'm over here standing at the window looking out. It's raining and shit. Ain't nobody call. Y'all be the main ones in the comment section, but don't know how to pick up a phone. And I love y'all to death. Like L'Oreal Kramer, uh, Magna Maniac, Tough Woman. What's up, baby? We got BJ Blowjob in the building. QS, she's still here. She's still lovely and she's still beautiful. We got Brandy, Mr. Seven Digit. David Obi Jr. Where Palman at? I'm seeing ghostesses and shit. I could have swore I seen her ass. But that's Negro here no there. Okay, let's get back to this. Y'all need to hear this, man. Because it sounds like the cast of Martin. They complaining about never winning no damn Oscar. Look at this. Wow. Nope. Matter of fact, I'm going to do it the SAT way. Y'all wait one second. Let me get this together. Reggie, set that up. Because we need to listen hard at what these people be saying. Because they be playing themselves on so many different levels. Listen at this, y'all. Listen. Ah, uh, this is a real moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah you. Special moment. That's you special. better believe it, baby. That's right. <laughs> We finally about to get it in me. What? <laughs> yeah, we getting our Emmy tonight. What? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so embarrassing. So embarrassing, man. And you know, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, y'all already know he was doing the booty, allegedly. Yeah. I already, in, in order for him to even be on the Martin show. Quincy Jones's favorite. Him and Carlton probably was doing bust downs back in the day. Who knows? Oh my goodness. Steve Urkel. Oh, um, Cole, Carlton, all doing freak offs. They show up at the mansion at the same time. You look in the, the damn um the peephole, you see them niggas standing there with their hands on their hip. Like you gonna open the door or what? Yeah. Matter of fact, got my speech on deck too. Yeah, all ready to go. No. No. Hello, hello, hello. Who this is here? Yeah, this is Citizen King from 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 Powder Springs, Georgia. Yo, I just want to say your shit is hilarious. I love it. I love the information you give us. You're 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 you're, you're right on point. And I want to speak about the Cat Williams thing on in the Shannon Sharp show. That that was a bombshell that he dropped. You know what I'm saying? So everybody just got to take it as he has the word. But you know what I'm saying? It's for you to believe and for us to find out, basically. Man, that was real. And I appreciate everything you said. But people fail to realize that Cat Williams is in the industry as well. He said he make his own exactly. rules. He play by his own game. He make his own contracts. He do what he do. And the reason why... I could vouch for Cat Williams is because he is a stand-up comedian. And you figure Facts. you ain't got you doing what you want to do. You writing your own jokes. You saying what you want to say, how you want to say it. So that's a lot different than being a movie star. It's like Cat Williams, he a trap star when it comes to entertainment. Because he know how to go to city to city, get it in. Do his stand up, attract big crowds, people come out, pay their money. He shit, by the time he make it back home, he's sitting on a couple of M's. Exactly, exactly. 
So, but at the, at the same time, we got to remember that we in a different generation now. The same stuff that Richard Pryor could do back in the 70s, he would have got canceled by now. Because, you know, we, we're living in a little sensitive world right now. Everybody's a little sensitive. But you know what? Cat Williams got the cheat code because people don't know how to get at him exactly. We don't know. He's so much of a mysterious character, just like Prince, to where you don't know how to rate him. So you might as well just leave it alone. Like, don't go there with Cat Back. because you can't. Don't nobody know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it's just like, like I said, we're gonna find out, and it, you know, what I'm saying the the the, the dark the, the darkness can only hold for so long. The sun's gotta shine sooner or later. So, like I said, it, it's crazy. Man, I'm so glad you said that because we've been seeing a lot of that lately, and I've been noticing that people feel like they might as well just keep it real mm. because. Ain't no such thing as a secret, especially in 2024. Whatever you think you hiding, it's impossible. It's going to show through your yeah. pores, man. You can't, you ain't got no damn secrets. You might as well just go ahead and keep it above. Facts, facts, facts. I support the show, though. Definitely, y'all. I've been liking, I've been sharing, you know what I'm saying, to my friends in my group chats and all that, you know, so oh, I just want to say keep up the good work. I'm out in Georgia, too. I salute all that. No doubt, man. And thank you so much for calling in. The next time I go live, don't be no stranger. Make sure you call back. Gotcha. You heard? No doubt, bro. Holla at you Ooh. later. That's what it is, man. That brother called in and let y'all know how he feel about the situation how he feel about the situation now why all y'all just can't do that man why can't everybody just pick up the phone he did it i just don't get it y'all talking about how much y'all love the channel and i love y'all too but you would love me better if you picked up the phone man y'all ain't right for that and i ain't complaining anybody hit that cash app let me double check this real quick because before i go too crazy i need to pay homage to the people out there that really do be supporting me watching the video hitting the like button and also hitting the cash app so i don't mean no disrespect let's go and get back to this video man okay go on play that reggie play it yeah no all right and they better not send mama d out here to play me off either what she at? no 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 carl 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 we're not winning an Emmy tonight. Please sit your butt down. Please sit. What you mean? Carl, we're presenting an award, not being presented with one knucklehead. Why are they talking to him like he a little ass boy? He got grandchildren. This man got grandchildren. And they talking to him like a little ass boy that just don't know no better. Man, go sit your little ass down. And his ass went over there and sat his ass down. And they still talking about him bad. How you think that make him feel? Hello, hello, who this is here? Yo, 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 this is A Yo Q. What up, Sean? What's up, brother, man? We over here talking about Cat Williams. Cat Williams, that's all anybody want to talk about. Ain't nobody else worthy of talking about right now. Man, everybody's caught up in the hype, bro. You feel me? Like, everybody's caught up in what's going on. It's a web, bro. Like, if everybody pay attention to my boy Lamont from Fred Sanford, like, he, he, dropped, he dropped the bomb on everybody. Like, yo... If you're in any Hollywood movie, bro, you done got back broken. Like everybody, including Cat Williams. He said that? Bottom, he didn't say that, but everybody in Hollywood. So if Hollywood is, if, if Cat Williams is in Hollywood, he, he definitely played the game. But he might be at a point of his career where he's like, yo, I'm going to go ahead and try to, like, cleanse my soul and try to tell some truth. But at the same time, like, all all truth is not, like, everything that he's saying, people got to pay attention. Like, yo, everything he's saying, it might have some truth in it, but it also has some fabrication. Because at the end of the day, his name is Cat Williams. He's a character. Come on, man. I did that on Docs Daily. You going to call me and regurgitate <laughs> everything I said back to me we don't move on. You still on that Docs Daily. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. know. Like that, bro. 
great minds think alike, bro. You do this every other week. Every time I go live, great you mind. call in and tell me some shit I don't already say. All right, man, you bust me, bro. I be tapping in, bro. I be tapping in. But great minds think alike, bro. Yeah, man. That's why I be tapping in with you, bro, because you be saying some real shit. I'm like, yo, yo, that's the same thing I be telling everybody that I be chilling with. Like, yo, Yeah, you be telling everybody what I be saying. Then got nerve to say that you said. Nah, fam, ho. Look, fam, look, I'm going to be 100 with you. If you wasn't wasn't on the same shit that I was on, I wouldn't even subscribe to you. That's what it is, man. You know what? I respect that, brother. You just kept it a thousand with me, man. And we need to start doing that with each other just go ahead keep it real man we on the same time the same vibe we brothers and everything and i got love for you and i want to thank you so much for calling in no homo man i appreciate you so much and make sure you call back on the next video real talk tired of getting sentimental with these niggas man what's that all about and i appreciate the love but damn what i'm supposed to say back and i appreciate every last bit of the love but I ain't had a female call up in here yet. Oh my goodness. It's all right. The mix of the love and everything, but damn. I need a female before I leave here, man. Cause if I don't, I'm feeling extremely zesty. And it ain't got nothing to do with what none of these brothers said, man. Cause I appreciate them and they phone calls, but it just always it go better when the female call in. Darlene, you ain't doing a damn thing. Sammy? Shit, I know you ain't doing nothing. Um, April Farrington? Y'all over there laying in the bed, and y'all still... Oh I ain't about to beg for no damn callers. It is what it is. I'm going to take them two brothers. Damn, that don't even sound right. Oh my I'm going to take their calls and leave it at that. But, hey, we need to listen at this real quick. Listen, listen. No, no, Reggie, run it back, bro. Because the reason why I laid it up in that fashion is because it seems very clickish, Hollywood, from the outside looking in. Why? I mean, but why did why didn't we see you? Hello, hello. Who this is here? Hello, this is oh, Darlene. You know what? See, that's <laughs> all I needed right there. You a dream come true. <laughs> Oh my God, After man. you said I wasn't doing a damn thing, how you feeling? And, and you know I was right, and that's the reason why you called in. Like, you know what? I, you felt guilty after I said that. I could feel it through the damn computer that you wasn't over there doing a damn thing. Oh, have mercy. I'm so glad. I am glad. weak. I am weak. I'm glad. I, I'm, hey, it's, 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 it's nice to meet you. It's my first oh, time. Man, so I'm, I'm glad to support your channel. I'm, 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 I'm super excited. Man, I'm more excited than you are, man. I'm just going to kick back, put my feet up. And you called in, so oh. I know you got something you really got to say, man. And the question is this. Yeah, I do. Okay. Do Martin Lawrence deserve to have any respect for playing Big Mama's house? He did put on a dress. And if he don't deserve no respect, do Tyler Perry deserve respect? Do brothers deserve respect when they put on dresses in comedy movies depicting black women? I would have to say, I mean, I, I get it. It's, it's, it's comedy, but it's other ways to be funny. And I would have to say no. I would have to say no, because why are you partaking to be an, an, another to be another sex? Like at the end of the day, it can still be funny. Like Kat said in the Shay Shay, um, on a Shay Shay podcast, like it can still be funny. You don't have to be feminine to be funny. And that's just a fact. Yeah, man. But, you know, a lot of black people support these movies. And that's what got me thinking that it must be an overall zest that we ain't it confronted. It's, it's within yeah. our community. You know, people don't talk about it. People don't think about it. But as many brothers be in and out of jail and how many brothers mm -hmm. really ain't stepping up trying to be fathers and you got all this Shit, that might be the answer to the question. It might be too much zest in the black community. Unchecked zest. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. And I also feel like Hollywood is only revealing what's really going on, but they're doing it through actors and comedians. You get what I'm saying? Because more and more people coming out. Now we got rappers coming out. We got uh, singers coming out. Hell, like everybody's coming out the fucking closet. That's how I feel. Like, I, I feel like it's just, 2024 is going to be very revealing. I'll leave it as that. 
<laughs> very, very revealing. That's why for the people out there, you've been living the lie. You've been trying to keep secrets in 2023. And before that, this year, your ass about to be exposed. So you might exposed. as well do yourself a hey. favor and come on out with whatever going on, man. Just let the world know because eventually people yeah. going to find out. Eventually, exactly, eventually. So, and I think that's where, like, I guess what they call, like, us conspiracy theories. That's where, like, we come and play because we putting shit together. I mean, it's obviously if you, hey, if you look at feminine, you act feminine, you 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 zesty, or you want to be a trans. Like, it's just what it is. Call it for what it is. I don't think brothers been taught how to really be men. Our perception of manhood, yeah. especially in America, like, damn. When have we ever had the opportunity to really be a man, especially coming from our situation up until now? And people take on this mm -hmm. machoism. It ain't it ain't about machoism. It's about planning, strategizing, executing, being a visionary, a thinker. It ain't got no. It ain't mm -hmm. all about machoism. So many brothers think yeah. being a man got something to do with being macho. And when people can't live up to them expectations, they be so crushed within the community to where they feel like they ain't worth shit. Ain't like they got any other options to be a man unless they're going to be a basketball player or some shit. Or true. go to jail. That's very true. Right, right, right. I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. I agree with you 100%. I agree with that. And it's crushing, man. It's shattering because sisters have to deal with this type of shit on a daily basis man you got men out here look it's it's tough out here it's a bunch of brothers grown ass old ass brothers doing little boy shit exactly yeah that part that part that part right there that part <sighs> yeah that's where we at with it man it's a cultural thing and i think that's why hollywood been pushing that shit out because it helped a lot of people cope people see the movies and they feel like it's okay. Like, shit, Martin taking the brunt for all them brothers out there that be feeling like being mom. Right, right. And as you said, Tyler Perry is just, like, carrying that whole legacy of fucking, you know, I mean, Lord, excuse my language, of that whole perspective of zestiness. Like, he's carrying it out. But the thing with Tyler Perry, he said that when he was a kid, somebody took advantage of him um multiple times so in his mind he like shit this is just a he was raised up in atlanta he like shit this just the culture he putting on for the culture wow i didn't know that that i did not know so you you informed me about something i didn't know yeah man he went on the oprah winfrey show and just laid it down he said the mailman the fucking next door neighbor the fucking uh the uh, nurse at the hospital he was going on and on about these when what? he was growing up, these different men that took advantage of him. Oh, damn. Yeah. So, oh, you that know. That explains my dear. Yeah. It oh. explains a lot of things, but it ain't just Tyler Perry. It's, it's a lot of brothers out here. You just never know. They being raised by single mothers. They with their mama all damn day. They ain't even got no daddy Girl. around. Girl. Right. Yeah. I was going to say that plays a factor. So, quick question. I'm not going to hold you much longer. I know you got to get the other callers or what have you. But ain't how no do you feel calls. about the allegations? Oh, you know. Oh, okay. How, how do you feel about the allegations with Tyler Perry and I forget the gentleman name, Chris Keys oh, or something Chris like that? Keys, how do you feel man, about that? He trying to pump fake and get a check out the game, man. He just a dirty whore, um, <laughs> a Hollywood slut <laughs> trying to get a payday. Like I'm gonna expose <laughs> you on some zesty time. <laughs> That's all that is. He a man. Trying to shame another man. Get the fuck out of here. So do you feel like he? Do you feel like he? He swings that way. Do you feel like he's zesty or? I don't give a damn. What he do? Oh my <laughs> I ain't over here thinking like yes, he's definitely zesty. <laughs> I can see it in his eyes. Yes, it's something about him. It's him right there. Yeah, the little cupcake. That's him. The zesty man. <laughs> I don't give a damn what the hell he do. He grown as fuck. He could be Zay. I don't care. Shit, oh, he could we. be with Tyler Perry. It ain't gonna make me no uh, different. We. Oh, yeah, that's why are you trying to have zesty conversations with me? 
No, no, because we on that topic. So I was like, for him to frame a, a zesty person, allegedly, or what have you, it, like, it, it just raised suspicion. My turn. Like, is he zesty? My turn. Do you think Megan the Stallion got a nice body? Oh, my goodness. Hey, look, I'm straight, but um, I, I do. I do. I feel like she's toned. She's fed. Yes, I do. The zest is everywhere, people. It's like Cheeto dust. It's on everybody. <laughs> I mean, look, listen, you asked the question, I answered it honest. You got the nerve to be talking all this jazz about zesty this, zesty that, and all these brothers, all them zesty. I asked you about one nice female with a nice ass, mm -hmm. and you couldn't even you couldn't even resist her ass. Oh my gosh, don't do that. No. <laughs> It's all right, sister. The zest is taking all the way over, man. I had a pink Don't PlayStation controller. I had to shoot it in the trash. Oh my goodness. I did. I had a pink PlayStation. It was hot pink too. It was fabulous. And I shot that shit in the trash. Oh my God, my stomach hurt. I can't with you tonight. I can't. Hey, I can't. Man. I can't with you. We we all going through it, man. It's 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 a world thing. It was shit. We in oh, 2024. Man. It's going when they look back at this are. in history. It's going to be the zestiest mm -hmm. times in history. Yeah, yeah. Facts. That's, that's facts. I got to agree with you on that. Real talk. The way people dress and the way people act and the shit people watching, it's going to be. Man, when they, like they do, I love the 80s and all that shit, and I love the 90s. When they get to the 2020s, it's going to be oh, yeah. pretty pinks, baby blues, man. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's a wrap. It, it's, it's, uh, it's, it, it took over, literally. It, it took over. It took over. Game over. That's all I can say about it. But I love you to death, man. I ain't never had this much fun. I love fun. you more. Oh, man. I know. I feel so yeah. special. You oh, know what? I appreciate you so much. You can't I do. be playing I, I with me like that. I enjoy your show. I enjoy your show. You can't be playing with me like that because now I'm over here in my feelings. I'm going to be waiting for your phone call. I'm over here waiting right oh, now. We still on the phone. Oh, are you, look. Look. Just look. Once I get the notification, I log in. Yeah. Boom! Hey, I'm on there. I, I see you got the number up there for hopping. I'm a, hey, I'm gonna call you up. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Chill. I, I got you. I, I got you. I, I got a girlfriend, y'all. Matter of fact, let me get out of here because uh, yeah, they, they yeah, I don't do like people do all that. in my business and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, we got. Though. Yeah, I'm gonna let you go, baby. We gonna holla oh, at you, right. Real talk. All right, okay. goodbye, man. Thanks. Shit, that's the love of my life, right? Hello, hello. Who this is here? Hi, hi, hi. Is this the Sean um, Blazy Show? Um, my name is April. I just want to say my commentary on the Cat Williams. Um, I'm not going to be too long. Is it okay? Can oh, man. The floor is all yours. Oh, okay. Well, um, I just want to say uh, when I did watch the whole interview of Cat Williams, when he exposed, uh, you know, like, like, like Steve Harvey, and um, Cedric the Entertainment, uh, D.L. Hughley, anybody else I forget, but uh, that's the only I can remember. But I just want to say my my issue about Steve, to be honest with you, I don't think Steve Harvey is not funny at all. And um, I think the reason why he, he he's where he's at now, I think he misused all his ex-wives to get where he at, but um, I don't know, did you hear, uh, Cat Williams did say that Steve Harvey was a never homeless, and his ex-wife, Mary Harvey, exposed him, exposed him too. She either said he, he was a never homeless, because she do interviews pretty much all the time. I don't know if you're familiar with her, she a YouTuber, but I don't know, is it a good idea for me to say her name? Oh man, it's all good because they know her name. Oh yeah, you know who I'm talking about. She she interviews Steve Harvey ex wife all the time. Um, Mary Harvey. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and um, and um, what I think too, I think Steve Harvey is wrong. How he mistreated his ex wife Mary Harvey. Because from what I heard, allegedly, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. I think Marjorie Harvey and Mary Harvey was best friends, allegedly. From what I heard. Man, you better hope Junebug don't wake up and hear you on that damn phone. Oh my goodness. He going for <laughs> snap, crackle, and pop. You over there whispering in the middle of it. Look what time it is. 
He probably up there listening with one eye open, wondering who the hell you talking to down there. Well, I'm just saying my opinion. You over there thinking about Steve Harvey. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. Hmm. No, but I was just saying my opinion. I was just saying like I don't think Steve Harvey is not funny, and I think that he needs. You don't to think canceled. Steve probably is not funny? Oh my God. No. How that go together? I don't think Steve is probably not funny. So you trying to say Steve Harvey is hilariously funny? No, he ain't funny. Period. But I'm gonna be honest. He is a good host, though. But I think all this when when I think he he trying to be Bernie Mac. That's what it is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, man. He just trying to be Bernie Mac. You know, they said Steve Harvey put on blackface one time, so you know that he out there trying to be burning real bad real real bad mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. and he was I never homeless that man he had money in his pocket talking about he was homeless what how the hell steve gonna be sleeping in his car and he bought six five shit he must have had a minivan or something right right mm -hmm. right because i was wondering that and then shit, i don't himself. know what they was talking about because I love Steve Harvey and seeing how you don't like Steve Harvey, I could tell why you over there with all that animosity in your voice. But either way, I love you to death, baby, and I don't want you to be no stranger. And the next time I go live, I will be so pleasured if you call back. Real talk, baby. We're going to holler at you later. No doubt. That was so sweet, man. She called up here and gave us a whole spill about everything she had to say, man. Hold on. Listen at this. Letitia Campbell Martin's appearance at the 75th Emmy Award show. Tisha Campbell, oh boy. Okay, T because the cast of Friends and the cast of Martin presented awards tonight. Now, Tisha Campbell, they never look better than she looked tonight. Period, period, period. Oh, you're watching. Hi, Amani. She got a Buddha baby, got a lot of damn nerve. Shit. She could make a billion dollars off of statues over in India and Japan. They would gladly welcome her into their damn home. She hop off of the plane with a parachute and land in Tibet. They're going to treat her like the Dalai Lama. Oh my goodness. Buddha has returned. Like, bless you, Buddha. Bless you, Buddha. Like they give me grapes, I don't never have to want for no food. They got French fries. They got everything a bitch want. I'm talking about street tacos. They got milkshakes. They got it all. I ain't never coming back to America, bitch. I'm gonna be over here in Japan for the rest of my fucking life. Tell Cat Williams to kiss my ass. She gonna be live in India, talking shit to everybody. And Monique, you fat bitch. I am a deity. Bitch, I am a deity. You just mad because they praise and worship my ass. Hello, hello. Who this is here? Oh, what's up, Sean? Oh, man. What's up, baby? Who this be? How you doing? Oh, man. I'm over here doing amazing. We talking about what's going on with Cat Williams. What's on your mind tonight? Man, so what's the topic? Do Martin deserve respect for Big Mama's house? Yeah, do he deserve any type of respect for putting on a dress, portraying black women in a negative light? I don't know. Martin, he's a good actor. He's funny. So yeah, he deserves respect. What's going on with this some old they clone Tyrone shit going on nowadays, man. I just don't get it. <laughs> oh, you on here tripping, man. What you doing up so late? I'm over here. I got a few more questions for you, man. This this is what I'm doing up so late. I want to know what's some of your favorite snacks that you like to munch on. <laughs> um, I like sissy roll pop. I like gummy bears. Shit, that's all I needed to hear right there. I'm over here. What you doing? I need to, I'm <laughs> over here bent up. She said she like Tootsie Pops. Oh my 
you over here tripping, man. The suck, that's what you like. That's what you be doing. You be sucking on suckers. Nah, no, nah, I don't be doing no. You said what kind of snacks do I like? I said I like candy canes. You be licking on candy canes too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo. You yeah, probably look. You probably licking on one right now. No. <laughs> I don't have any right now. Damn, man, I forgot what we was talking about. You amazing. I'm just gonna leave it at that. But do you no. think? Do you think Cat Williams zesty? No, I love Cat. No, man, I love Cat. He's a real one. I fuck with Cat Williams. A lot of people do. I, I mess with Cat Williams too. You know what I'm saying? But they saying that he the modern day prince. Can you see that, or you you don't see that? No, I kind of see that he's little, like Prince. He got hair. Yeah. Probably like Prince, too, yeah. And um, he's creative, like Prince. Very. So he's a little like Prince, yeah. Would you say that Prince is zesty? I don't know. I don't know. His voice, it sounds like an instrument, but I don't know if he's, I never knew. I never knew. He's gone now. No, I don't know. You know enough. You've been living long enough to know enough about Prince to know if he's zesty or not. Come on now. Y'all y'all need to cut this madness out. He never got caught in no scandal. He's just little. And he's little. And he's just like a little man. So he, no, he always had women around him. Even though it didn't work out. Y'all people kill me with this stuff, man. Y'all just... Won't call the fool. How in the hell you gonna say you don't know a prince was zesty? All he was, was he was zzz, purple rain zesty. And ain't purple nothing wrong with that. That's what that's who he was, man. Don't don't make it out to be something that is not. Prince was the the prince of zesty. I never knew, but like I don't know. He's just I don't think so. We never heard anything about him. He's just little and he just he's feminine. And I mean, God. he's gone now. So, oh my goodness. but these pictures you putting up on the <laughs> yeah, look at the look, look, look at the look at the pictures. Yeah, what you got to say now? I mean, he, I love Prince. I mean, I don't have nothing to say. I don't know nothing about his sex life. See, and you feel that same way about Cat Williams, don't you? Don't lie. <laughs> what you talking about, Cat Williams? I don't think he's gay. I don't think he's gay. I don't think he's gay. No, I don't. If you could say that about Prince and then turn around and say that about Cat Williams, we don't know if we could trust your judge of character, man. I don't know, Sean. What you think? Prince gay. Look, he got a girl right there. You know, I don't, I couldn't say if Prince is... I don't know what that man do. I ain't got no proof, no confirmation of him doing anything sexually. But one thing for sure, he was definitely zesty. I don't know, man. He just, I love Prince. What's your favorite Prince song? Uh, what's the one where they, uh, it's zesty as hell, too. What's the name of the song? <laughs> the nigga, they be on, the clouds be falling and shit, and they be on, and, and the world going down, and, uh, it ain't controversy. What's the other one? What? I don't know. That sounds like any Prince song. The the the, the clouds are falling down. Some shit world. like that. And he talking about we can't let the lion take us down to some shit. You about to have me look up the damn zesty ass song, man. You too. Mine is. Um, I don't know. Mine is. I don't know. I don't have. I don't even have a favorite Prince song. It's either Lil Red Corvette or. I know he said something about the sky being purple and it was zesty. Um, what's the name of the song? He talking about the sky being purple. Purple rain. No, it ain't purple rain. It was a, oh. yeah, there was people running everywhere. Uh, what was the shit? I'm trying to look it up now. The sky was the all water. purple. People running everywhere. Uh, the sky was all purple. It was people running everywhere. What's the rest of the song? Uh, uh, uh. The stuff, the stuff, the stuff, the stuff. 
Oh, tonight we're going to party. Like it's 19. No, that's not. You mixed up the song. Them two different songs. Oh, um, oh my God, the, man. The animals were making curious faces. Was it 1999? Yes, that was it. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, two, No, that wasn't it. I was dreaming when I wrote this, so sue me if I go dun 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 Yeah, that's the song. That's the one, man. Please excuse my zesty. Hey, that's you. Well, look, I'm about to get up out of here and finish. No, you ain't about to call me zesty and get the hell up out of here. That was disrespectful. Talking about that's you. That's you. What you mean, that's you? That's you. The hell? Okay. Matter okay. Fact, I'm just gonna let you go and do what you gotta do, cause you probably gotta get up and go to work or whatever. I love you to death, but you the zesty one, and make sure you call back whenever you feel like, baby. Real talk, I love you to death. All right, now you be good. Okay, take okay. care, baby. All right. I've never been so disrespected in my life, man. But I do appreciate her phone call. And for for the people out there watching, just know. Ever since I started recording, I've been gone off of Hennessy <clears throat> because I'm over here depressed, man. Martin Lawrence, if he really did run up on Cat, like how they saying that he did because he put on a dress and he mad because Cat kept it real, that ain't right. They gonna stop inviting black people to award shows, especially if we don't know how to act up in there. Hold on. Hello, hello. Who this is here? Hey, this Nene. How you doing? Oh, what's going on, Nene? I was waiting for you to call, man. I'm so glad you on the phone. Whatever you got to Who say. You? Yeah, we all is. I got a question for you. Uh huh. What is is a is a living zesty? A lemon is a lemon zesty. Man. A lemon in itself, a lemon in itself is not zesty. But if you want to make it zesty, it could be zesty. Okay, well, well, is an orange zesty? It's, it's, it's in that category too. It but, all know, depends. Like, depend on well, what, what you I do don't with. Understand is how can lemon and oranges be calling each other zesty, and they both are. Whatever they got you on, tell them to minimize the doses. I bring it down. They got it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm I'm bring it down. Okay, let's say, like I don't think uh, Mr. Cat Williams is is zesty, but he got some feminine qualities about himself. You know the way he perches lips and crosses the legs and hands. Sometimes <laughs> it makes you wonder. Mm -hmm. But I really think that maybe he was just brought up around a lot of females. Because it could be a lot of men who are manly, but they would just ha were unfortunate and didn't have a father in the home. You see what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, that's it, where we at with yeah. it. That's where we at with it. Yeah, man, that's what's going on out here in these zesty ass streets. Mm -hmm. And it is that's what it true. is. You know, you that's can't true. shame no. It's 2024. We don't been through so much, so many fatherless homes, like you said, so many women doing it on their own, being the man and the woman and shit. It is what it is. Men and women been bred to be zesty. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 I come from a family of seven and my mother raised all of us and I got brothers that got some, uh, they manly, but they got some, some zesty ways sometimes. Like they like to run their mouth too much. Or, you know, just little characteristics. You know, but they can't help that because that's the environment in which, you know, they were raised. So, but, 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 but don't push them and you're going to find out. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. You got chatty patties in your family? Male oh, chatty yeah. patties? They be sitting up there oh, gossiping yeah. them men. They just be going on and on, running off at the mouth, cackling like yes, some sir. hens. Yes, sir. But, but, but they not, but they not, uh, you can't try them now. Amen. Amen. Mm. 
Uh huh. Don't 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 f around and, and find out. Yeah, man, it be like that. You know, brothers got yeah. a mixture. Of, you know, it is what it is. We live in some crazy times, but I feel yeah. like this, man. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> it, people expect for brothers to behave like animals, and a lot of men go along with the notion. And that's why you got so many brothers doing bad and sitting behind balls because if you ain't acting like a plum fucking animal, you ain't no real man. Yes. Yes, we do get definitely get pulled into that. And and, and they got some place waiting up, uh for us too. You know what I'm saying? You gonna we be, be falling dead. for that nonsense. We be falling for that nonsense. You're going to be dead or you're going to be in jail trying to prove your manhood out here in these streets, man. Absolutely. That's... And we got to stop falling. We got to stop falling for that dumb shit. Oh, it's only in our community, man. Everybody else got the right to act civilized. But us, if you ain't no plum fool, you ain't shit. Man, we got to be, we got to do better before we be, before we go ex- ex- extinct. Before but, we be like dinosaurs, they ain't gonna be able to find no black people no more. But the reason why it's like that is because in order to really get to a bag, in order to be rich and in order to be wealthy and in order to be elite, you gotta be on some big mama's house shit. Oh my goodness. And that's what we talked about. We gotta stop this tomfoolery, you know? Like you said, all money ain't good money. It ain't, man, you but know, that and, money and sure will be good. we into a systematic regime of them uh, slowly poisoning our culture and, and, and making us non-exist. It's a different kind of genocide where it's flipped around and we doing it to ourselves. Individually, us, man. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's so Don't cold. Know. It's cold. I, have you noticed how cold it is? I ain't never felt it this cold, especially in Georgia. It's, it's freezing. It's a different kind of cold, ain't it? It's a death Baby, type of cold. It's that stinging kind of cold. It sting you, then it go to your bone. I said, oh, Lord have mercy. What's going on here? You know, sometimes it could be cold and it still feel normal. Like, okay, it's cold as fuck, but it feel normal. This cold is cold. But it don't feel normal. Like this ain't no natural shit for it to be feeling so oh, cold so you like that. What I'm thinking? What you thinking? I think it's manufactured. Them white boys is up there with that harp and all them other stuff. They can control the weather. They can put the whole America in a deep freeze or just half of it. They can make uh, catastrophes and they can flood. But Atlanta told you that. I don't know when folk gonna finish catching on. Hey man, you just never know what they got going on out there. But one thing for sure, it's so cold. I'm over here mad and I don't know why I'm mad, but I figure it's the cold that got me pissed off like this, man. Yes, it is. It's because it's like you said, it's a different kind of cold. They controlling the people's emotions. They know how to, I think they don't master the art of controlling people's emotions. And that's what it's all about. If you can control somebody's emotions, you can get them to do any fucking thing. Oh, heck yeah. What are you, they controlling us right now with all of this stuff that's going on with Kat and whatever other, uh, T.D. Jakes, all them scandals going on or distraction while them bad boys is cooking up something real heavy in the background that's going to kick off. You know what it is? When people yeah, be tuned into this bullshit, it's like you putting yourself in the microwave. And the more you in there, the more you gonna cook from the inside out, thinking about all this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. They going for our mind, body, and soul, baby. And you know That's what, what, sister? And yes, not, not, not to cut you off, but that TDJ power bottom shit blew my mind. Oh my Get it? I couldn't think Me straight. Too. It had to be for like two weeks. I was stuck like, damn, TDJ, like, come on. Is he, is he serious with this power bottom shit, man? Yeah, but see, TDJ never did have me fooled when he first came on the scene. I know that he was playing on women's emotions. And then it, as I watched him get richer and richer and not really share that wealth, I knew he was a demon. Mm, you know, the same was... way y'all need to catch on about Oprah. Mm. Oprah ain't did nothing for us. 
Well, what's she supposed to do? Oprah's supposed to write a check for every black person in America, break us off, and then she'll be cool people? No, no. Bill Cosby uh, distributed his wealth. He put people through college. Why she got to go all the way to Africa to do it? And look how we did Bill Cosby. Straight shit on his head. Thank you. We ain't do right by Bill. I know Bill Cosby, like, after all I done did for them niggas, they just gonna, they just sat back. We ain't, we just sat back. We didn't come to his rescue. We did not. We did not support him like we should have. I'm talking about and Bill Cosby. And that's probably what Oprah is scared of and bitter about, too. She don't, as soon as she start saying that she's doing this for black people or, 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 or something, then they come after you. Then white people come after you. And you know the crazy part about it is this, man. With Cat Williams, <clears throat> he the new leader. He the, and oh, don't don't say nothing about no white man. people no more, cause you know damn well if you was no. at work, you wouldn't be talking about no white people, man. You get on my platform, <laughs> one dog, oh, dumb right. people this, dumb people that. If you was at work, whatever whatever you do for a living, you ain't talking to your supervisor like that. Let's just be real. No, you not. But Cat know was but Cat know was up. It, 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 he takes his generosity and he does it under the table. Just like what Boosie say, he helped him out, you know, threw him some uh, coins, you know what I'm saying? He does his works of charity, you know, on the down low. See, I'm so glad you said that on the down low. He, he's what, smart. what the hell that's all about? I got a little paper for you, player. Yeah. He be in the he's corner smart. winking. He's, like, what, who he's sent me this genius. money? I, I gave you the money, player. Don't forget about me, Boosie. <laughs> Boosie, bad ass. I got some paper for you, baby. Stop it. I'm going to get this nigga that $20,000. Let's see if he called. Oh, boy. What man, well, we love what man that. do some shit got like to that? You got to be protected. He break your ass off. You look over like you be looking for cat. Like anybody seen anybody seen cat? Like I'm gonna make that motherfucker come to me. Oh my God. <laughs> you heard it. You got the twenty thousand dollars, didn't you? Okay. Well, what you wanna do? Like what's going on, bro? We gonna party? What's happening? <laughs> Who knows, man? You never know. But one thing no. for sure, I love you to death, baby. Don't you be no stranger. I love you to death, oh, too, too. You keep up the good work. Oh, I appreciate that. And we're going to holler at you okay. on the next video. All right, baby. You be good. Hello, hello. Who this is here? Hello, this is Carmelita. Hey, what's going on, sister? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Just sitting back here laughing at you. Oh, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, you make my day. You make my night one night. Oh, man. You must be calling from Louisiana or something. I could hear that accent real yeah, thick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love yeah, that. I'm from New Orleans. Mm, 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 mm. Whatever you got mm. to say, we all is. Yeah, um, I was reading up on there what you're talking about. You know what's so sad about uh, Cat Williams and Martin Lawrence? You know, that's my two favorite comedians in the world. We were on the same age. Mm-hmm. That's my two favorite ones. Yeah. You know, and, and another thing I have to say about these comedians on uh, dressing in dresses and stuff, as long as they're not kissing no other woman or a man and stuff like that, I don't see nothing wrong with it. You know, if, if I had a boyfriend and somebody offered him a job the way I dress, I'd be wear nice and tight and you better go get that money. You know, you'd be a fool not to take that. I, th- I think it's very silly, you know, about it's funny. <laughs> you said you was dating a man and you smacked him uh-huh. on. You said you was dating a man and they offered him some money to wear a dress and you smacked him on his ass and told him to go get that money. No, I said, you know, if I had a man, if he had a job offer like that, yes, but it had to be in the comedian stage, so I'll I be helping him get it together, you know, because it's funny. I find it very funny. I find nothing wrong with it. That's why I laugh. <laughs> I was ready to It made me laugh. But, uh, William Cat, Cat William is my favorite, and Martin Lawrence, so that got me like, wow. You know, but yeah, it's nothing wrong with them men wearing dresses and acting Silly, getting people to laugh on, you know, you know what's on a person's mind and they have to laugh. As long as they're not doing nothing, you know, sexual with each other, you know, like that really gay lifestyle, you know. Uh-oh. You See, that's that, that's that Mardi Gras shit she talking, y'all. They be down there with them beads. You throw them niggas them beads. They in the parade. They got wigs on, lipstick, all that. 
Big Freedy, they they um titty bop and booty bop, all that stuff. Them boys out there don't back that ass up faster than Lil Wayne. Oh man, the NO really about that. I thought they was playing when they had them pictures with them OGs sitting on each other's laps and things. No, no, that's a thing. They had their own little living area out here, you know. And it just, it just, it will be extra crazy this year, I guess. You know, I haven't been to a parade since I was 19 years old, so I don't go in that area. Hey, man, they say it'd be to. all types of ghosts and shit down there in New Orleans. Yeah, if you go on Bourbon Street area, you know, where they had the slaves and stuff at back in the days, you know, if you read, I know you read your history, you're a very smart man. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, there's a lot of things going on out here, you know. I'd be glad when Mardi Gras come and go, to be honest with you. You can get a hotel right now if you wanted to. Damn, why yeah. you so, why you got something against Mardi Gras? You act like you can't stand Mardi Gras. No, I don't like Mardi Gras. I stopped going to Mardi Gras when I was 19 or 18 years old. Um, when I started back there and I started paying attention how they was throwing the, uh, the bees to the white folks and the black people, the little children get their hands stomped on, you know, to get a little bee. Oh. And I know it's the snow. And I, yeah, that's why I stopped going to Mardi Gras since I was oh. 19. They don't stole you know? the culture. Yeah, but now, now I go to the second line. Second lines and the your wall pad things you they have on that's more for black people, you know, like under the bridge and stuff. Or going to the old Mardi Gras, you know, when you find black people have to jump up. Most of the people from New Orleans don't go to Mardi Gras, no way. Damn. You know, they don't go to that stuff, you know, you know, if you're a native of New Orleans, because you know, a lot of people know their history. Damn. You know? That's cold. And, um, yeah, it's cold blood, and I'm 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 58 now. That's why I thought I'm more and Lauren some age and mm-hmm. stuff. You know, that's my two favorite. But no, I don't go to that. I don't like it. I don't I don't care for it at all. Damn, people mm-hmm. pushed out of their own damn culture. We already ain't got no culture, and the little culture that now we they, do got. Now, now for Mardi Gras, they have the they have they they culture, um, for as Mardi Gras, and that's the one with the, the black men. The, the fire turds around them, I would there and stop that now, you know, and they had to dent down and throw money to the ground, they had to pick that up. If you go look in the history of New Orleans, you'll see all that stuff, you know, back in the days in the 1700s and stuff, you know. But when I stopped going at 18, that's a very young age, and I said, wow, why wow, black children got to get pushed up all around and mm. catch a bead over the white folks to stand by the white people, you know, and back in those days, it was kind of different too. And that's Damn. when I stopped calling when I was 19. I, you know, I never believed in it. And that was a long ass time ago. No disrespect, yeah, but damn. Hey. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't go around it, you know. I don't, I, I don't go around it, no. I, I'm going Bourbon Street and nothing like that. Real talk. I got to ask you this too. What is it that you like about Cat Williams? Because it's a bunch of people that honor this man. <laughs> He's a new black leader. We ain't got He's nobody. You know what? You know what I love about Cat Williams? He, you know, he's a funny looking ass character for number one. He's stuck in pimp world for number two. He, I don't think nobody could play better than him and laugh at his own self sometimes, you know. Yes, he ain't got old and little mean, you know, but you know how they go to him. And um, he's very, what I love about him when he said he read so many books and I read up and pulled all that up and read up on that stuff. Some people say he was a lie about that, but I pulled, cause Google it up, it was true. A person can read that time, you know, so many books in a year at his age, you know, and then he was about to get, or they born and put him in college at the age of seven. So he's a very unique, smart, smart man. And he, he's very smart. He's smart, he's generous, he's a very nice person. And I think he's sexy. It's a short self. <laughs> I think he's very sexy. I think more and more sexy too. I so like both. If you had the opportunity to be with Cat Williams, you would have a good time with that man? I would love to sit there and just hear him talk. Oh my I really sit there and hear, I just like to sit and talk. Like Shay Shay was sitting on the show and just listen, listening to him talk up. I think pick up a lot from Cat Williams because he's very intelligent and you got to watch how he say his words and you know, and pay attention because he's very, on, he kind of like he's saying chuckles to say chess. That's what people got to realize. He's Cat ain't. Smart. Cat ain't about to talk to you like how he talked to Shannon. He talking to him like that because he knows some big paper involved. He ain't about to have that same type of conversation with you for what? 
No, but see, Cat Williams, he's down to earth. He's a down to earth man. That's what I pick up on him. If I could sit in front of Cat Williams right now, I I, 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 I just love it. I just sit there and love to hear him talk. I be, but at the same time, I be learning from him too. Because y'all need to cut this. Like y'all need to cut this out right now. What? If if Cat Williams was sitting in the you room with you, he you probably would not open his damn mouth. Already. He probably would mm-hmm. give you three words, two at the max. You make it seem like Cat just going to go on and on and tell you about the good old days like he talking to Club Shay Shay. No, no, you get, no, you get that already from him just in his comedian jokes and stuff. He, you know, he's talking to the world right there and there. I'm talking about a real, just say I want to ask him something nicely, you know, or he can give him some advice on something. I think he'd be real serious about it. It all depends on how the lady come at him also. You Man, know, I, I can't come, speak for Cat. I want to come to him wild or nothing like that because he's he's a he's a he's a curious character to me. Y'all acting like he he's Dr. Martin Martin Luther. Martin Luther. He's Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence too, though. Y'all act Martin like Lawrence him. A, a character also. Y'all make it seem when like he's a black leader. Like, it ain't even him. that deep, yeah. man. It's sad. And you a grown, grown, grown woman. You acting like... Come on, we're going now. We're going bad like that tonight. <laughs> I, you know what, sister? I love you to death. I can't even play with you like that because I ain't got time to be fooling with people from New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? And that ain't got nothing to do with you being from the N.O. But you over there talking Creole and everything. You probably got a bandana on with a nose ring, a hoop nose ring in. Yeah. <laughs> I got an all black and a scarf on my head tied around like a gypsy. Oh, and hell no. Super fortune. All you can see is her eyes. She just looking through, peeking at the damn phone, talking <laughs> about Cat Williams, man. She got crystal balls and all that I'm, shit. I'm looking at your show right now as we speak it with Martin Lauren digging in the back of that dress and button. That's fine. That's hilarious. I don't see why Cat Williams thought that mess. You know now, what, I man? I'm about that, too. And I we love, love you team. to death, man. I love you too, baby. And don't you be no stranger. You call back the next time we go live. Real talk, man. I love her to death. Hello, hello. Who this is here? Hey, hi. Hey, how you feeling over there? Yeah, we could barely hear you, though. Oh, can you hear me now? Oh, man, we hear you loud and clear. What's on your mind, sister? Shit, I'm just sitting here listening, Um, trying to find some stuff on youtube tonight just to talk to for board you looking for love in all the wrong places baby because i ain't i ain't over here just Boy, shooting you the shit. Funny. and ain't i nobody appreciate looking for that love. uh whatever we'll you got to say about now. cat williams man we all is man because this man allegedly got g-checked by martin lawrence at the emmys he got a lot of enemies out here it ain't safe for him in these black hollywood streets Man, I, I I disagree because you know the truth all for real. You know, even though Martin Lawrence got something to say and everybody got something to say, but Cat been in the game for a long time, and I think that what he's saying is more truthful than what everybody else is saying. Yeah, that's without a doubt. You know, Cat, he out there, you know, telling it like it is. Man, he can't wait. To put a motherfucker on blast. He just can't wait to do it. That's what he wake up in the morning and get straight to it. <laughs> yeah. You know, and people respect him for that. I got a lot of respect for him too, but what I don't like is people treating him like he a civil rights activist, like he a war veteran or some shit. Like Cat Williams been through the trenches. Like he been well, through the I- trap. Like he out there, like he a real one. Cat Williams, they making it seem like these the people that we elect to be our leaders well i don't even understand who else is gonna be the leader i mean he's out here giving money to people who are prominent and doing his thing and saying what he thinks that is right you know a lot of people just out here just not even standing up for the culture and can't standing up for the culture man i refuse to believe that they would let us pick our own leader without them giving us a leader, man. We always been given leaders. Even Malcolm X, we've been given leaders. So if Cat Williams is the new leader, I'm starting to believe that it's a power behind him that's giving him the opportunity. Because who going to give him a platform like this to really go viral? 
This shit just don't happen yeah. to everyday people, man. You got to have a machine behind you in order for this to really take off like this. The lanes is wide open, all the way open. Why? Like, come on, cat, come on. Why would they even let him come through like that? I disagree with you because it's not them letting Cat come through with nothing. Cat's been in the game since 1999. Yeah. And he's been he's been paving his way. Mm -hmm. He's been speaking the truth. He's been doing his thing. Yeah. So I don't think that white people tell us who our leaders need to be. We select our leaders because of what they do for the culture. So just to say that, oh, see, sister, that's where that. you wrong. That's where you wrong. They put him on their platform to project to us. This day mm. shit, we don't own nothing. The club, Shay Channing, he the, he the front man. People should know by now. Black people not owning a damn thing. If they on the play, if they sitting on couches, they got paper, they sit, they iced up, they got chains and shit. Guess who writing their checks? They ain't writing them checks for well, each other. White people writing their white checks, though, homie. Like, and they, they, they work check. for the people that's writing their damn check. Oh my goodness. We all do. Exactly. So what make them any different from anybody else that's willing to do what they got to do to make some money? If this is the program, guess who put the program together? Crackers. You know what? Y'all going to cut that out because you wouldn't go to work talking like that. You wouldn't even talk to the I mailman do, uh, like that. You wouldn't go to the bank I, <laughs> talking like that. Y'all need to cut that out. Y'all get on here no, I'm and be just talking being all real types of crazy. That I'm ain't just, being real. Cause you would I'm over here doing my I you wouldn't talk. You wouldn't talk I, to your boss like that. You wouldn't talk no, to the man at the damn gas station like that. You wouldn't do that. But you would call up here talking all crazy. That's phony and that's fake. And I don't appreciate that. And I love you to death. But make sure you call back next Ooh. time. Y'all kill me with that shit. Oh want to wait to get on here. Now you want to be sister soldier. Be kissing all that ass in the grocery store. The lady at the register she got you bagging up the groceries. Like, thank you, Miss Ma'am. Y'all kiss all that ass in society and want to call up here acting like you Louis Farrakhan or somebody. I can't take it no. Matter of fact, please calm down. Man, I ain't gonna be able to do this no more, man. Y'all don't made me mad. It, I'ma just answer the question myself. You're blowing it, man. Fuck you, Bobby. I'm just gonna keep it real. Cause y'all, y'all, y'all all over the place tonight, man. We only had three people called in. They was all drunk, and I appreciate every last one of their calls. The question is, do Martin deserve respect for Big Mama's house? Shit. With that money, he got a house bigger than Big Mama's house. Like I ain't worried about Big Mama's house. Look at my house. I'm living large. House so damn big. Martin get lost in the house. His fat ass sweating. Trying to find his way back to the refrigerator. You got to do what you got to do out here in these streets. He said, fuck y'all. Give me the dress. They gave Tupac a thug life outfit. He wore that shit and wound up dying in it. That shit, as long as they ain't got me out here gang banging and shit, it ain't like I gotta worry about going to jail. Like, Martin, it's a safe zone. If you put on this dress, dude, the discounts are gonna be booming. Your statistics in America is gonna go swoop. And the officers pull you over and you, they see you have Big Mama's house on your resume, they're, they're gonna let you off. He got a Hollywood star walk of fame and everything. Shit. It beats being a criminal. I, and I ain't condoning it, but damn. It's either that or you gonna have bad knees chasing the basketball all day. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Walk. Oh, uh, dang. Niggas be hurt like a motherfucker by the time they turn 40 playing all them damn sports. 
you can't even enjoy the money. Scotty Pippen be sitting there looking like he just on painkillers. Nigga look tired. Whenever you see them retired basketball football players, man. Look like they on their last breath. This man got a Hollywood, the big mama's house, all that shit. Martin Payne. From Def Comedy Jam all the way up. He done freaked his way through Hollywood. Man. From, he throwing up them devil horns and shit. They was working with Russell Simmons. And y'all already know what they saying about Russell Simmons nowadays, man. And all them comedians, you want to get a job, you want to do the show, you got to holler at Russ. Them gatekeepers. It's only one way you're going to get in the door, and that's ass naked. Oh that's what Cat Williams talking about. Hold on. Let me see this real quick. Russell sent. Yeah, put that in. Yeah, there they go. All the comedians. D.L. Hughley. That's they mans. Mike Epps. Every last one of them, man. And the list goes on. If you want a shot in this business, this your opportunity. Look how they hanging all on Chris Rock all day, leaning all on each other and shit. It's the zestiest picture in the history archives. Oh my goodness. Damn. Chris Tucker zesty too? <sighs> Damn, man. It, it seemed like every comedian that been in the movie, I could see it now. Before Cat Williams, I couldn't see it. Hold on. Man, I couldn't even see the shit before. Now I see. Man had the Michael Jackson shit with the on. With the perm and shit. How many times he put on the dress? Damn, man. Hold on. Shit, he put on the dress a couple of times. With big, big lipstick. Didn't he do the same shit in CB4? Yup, nigga had on the same lipstick in CB4. With the Ja Morant face. Oh my goodness. This is, I'm over here feeling woozy. Shit about to make me throw up. This nigga, he turned to the side, tooted his booty in it. Man, this nigga, he needed to get slapped. Oh my goodness. This is crazy, man. This nigga right here. It is what it is. Thank you, Cat. Matter of fact, I want to say thank you to Cat Williams. We always knew it was something fishy going on, but you opened up all their legs and showed us the tilapia. Oh my now we know what time it is, man. Y'all need to be grateful for Cat. He planned on going to Jamaica this summer, and it's already a bunch of black people at the pier waiting to cheer him on and wave him away. They're going to be holding hands. They come back to us, cat. They're going to have a song and everything. Like, I'll be back, my lovelies. I'm just going across the water. I won't be gone for too long. He out here living like a black king. Yeah, cat. He going to barbershop. Them niggas going to bow down on some Wakanda shit. Oh, my goodness. They get down on one knee. It's cat. Like, assalamu alaikum, my brother. Like, assalamu alaikum, I don't even eat salami. Oh, my goodness. I better make me a bologna sandwich, assalamu alaikum. That sounds like something camels would eat. And no disrespect to the, you know, 
my brother's out there, but hey, y'all be treating him like he the, the great sheik or some shit. He's the great so far. He go to other countries. They treat him like Aladdin. Like, I'll take my carpet and my shoes right now. He get over there. They got magic carpets and shit. He in Dubai floating over the city. It is I, Cat Williams. It is the great Sufa. And like I said, the chick, um, what's her name? She Buddha. Oh my goodness. Shit, that's why black people do better in other countries. Because when you get there, you look all types of ancient. Like that is the, the your majesty. It's your majesty. I ain't your great great grandma, but I look like the bitch, but there's no way I could possibly be her. Like you remind me of my great 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 grandmother. Like I don't look like that bitch. Hold on, listen to what she got to say, yo. Hi, I'm Ronnie. I'm just sitting here chilling, babe. Oh. I don't know when Hacks is going to come back on again, you guys. Those asking, look at Tisha. I just want you to see this. There go friends right there. This woman could get away with murder. Let, let me explain something to y'all. Linnell could get away with murder. What judge going to put a baby face old lady in jail? That's like fucking with the cycle of life. Like I sentence you to zero time in jail. Order in the court. Order in the court. Like like I told y'all, I didn't do nothing. I don't never do stuff like that. A old raunchy lady with an innocent face. Shit, I bet she'll knock the hell out of a baseball. You give her a Babe Ruth jersey and put her ass out there, she gonna get a home run. She get to chewing on that damn tobacco. Like, home run, bitch. She gonna win the championship. They need to make a remake to that movie, Ladybugs, and let Lunell be the leader on their team. All she do is look at the damn dude that's throwing the ball. Hold on, look at this. I haven't met Pacino, but I don't know that he's that fun. I wanted to meet James Gandolfino from The Sopranos. Unfortunately, we lost him. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. The fuck was that? She turned into Steve Harvey. What type of I shit? Met... She got a convertible ass. Oh Look, this ain't no disrespect. But I seen Steve Harvey pop out of there. The fuck is that? Oh my goodness. She need to be the Popeyes lady. The hell with the whoever they just shit. She need to be the damn lady. She'll make a billion dollars. What they waiting on? Oh my goodness. They need to write her the check tonight. Call her ass the CEO of Popeyes. Y'all need to get it popping. She'll sell the shit out of that chicken. Like, oh, chicken fingers taste so good with the sauce. You just dip it like this. Ah. They get her real dolled up and pretty. They let her put her in the kitchen with them pots and them pans. Oh, it's my favorite chicken, baby. You ain't gonna have no choice but to pay homage to Popeye's. Let me get her off the screen because I love Lunell, man. She good people. She a legend. And I think she beautiful, man. And I know y'all goofy or whatever the case is, but she ain't bad looking at all, man. And I could prove it to y'all. Look at this. Lunell. Look, look, look. She wasn't bad looking at all. Look, look. She was a pretty girl, man. And she still... Y'all, I would have definitely dated her. 
Y'all trying to look, people get old and stuff, but shit, once upon a time, she was fine as hell. And knowing what she used to look like, she still look good to me. Hell yeah, nigga. Oh my goodness. So while y'all trying to be funny, man, y'all need to do y'all fact checks before y'all be talking about the way somebody look. Cause I would, I would have definitely, you know what I'm saying? And she still, she could get dog. Anybody could get dolled up, man. And this video ain't about her, but oh uh, shit, she better cut that out. What the hell going on? Right, Reggie, cut that off. Oh my goodness! Put that back up there, man. You better not put them pictures back. She nasty. She out there. Oh man, she a freak like that. Oh my goodness! She out there on Skid Row with them bums trying to take sexy pictures. What part of the game is that? They out there smoking crack. She's sitting on the bench. She don't smoke touch shit and passed out. Like, I think I'm going to take me a nap. Out there with them homeless people. 1997 in Oakland. She was out there in the hood for real, for real. This ain't even right. They too old to be even... But nursing home porn is this. Like, rawr, Amber Rose's mother. Let me quit talking about her. I love Lunell, man. Regardless of what y'all got to say about it, she good people. We ain't even talking about her though. We talking about Cat Williams, the lucky leprechaun man. Hair so fabulous. And I ain't mad at that. That's his style. You know, I ain't trying to hate on Cat Williams. He do his own thing. And people love the pimp look. It's unfortunate, especially, you know, in black America. But hey, it is what it is. It's a cultural thing, I guess. It's all a bunch of clownery. But hell, he a comedian. So that's what make it all right. But for the people out there that take this shit seriously. That's the reason why he keep getting richer because there's a bunch of fools out there and not to say that you a fool for listening to Cat Williams and respecting what he got to say. But damn, y'all appointed him to be Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. What y'all think about Bruce Bruce? They talking about he a big Native American lady in real life and he passing for um, a black brother. Did y'all hear that rumor? Hold on. Bruce. Bruce. They saying he a, a chief for the um Choctaw or some shit like that. And he got a tribe and everything. Oh my goodness. I could see it, y'all. Can y'all see it? No, no, that ain't the right music. Can y'all see it? Yeah, I see it. Oh, yeah, I definitely. Y'all know who you remind me of. Matter of fact, let me pull that up. Reggie, uh, type this in real quick. That go, yeah. What's that show? Y'all need to stay tuned for this, man. Oh, that lady at. She at. There she go. Tell me why. Bruce Bruce. Look dead on the mama from Snowfall. He look dead on her ass. They could be twins. Is that Bruce? Is that Bruce Bruce? Oh my goodness. But they look just dead on each other. That might be his sister or somebody. Wow. Hey, that's what's going on. You know, comedy. You got to be, you know. I'm pretty sure this man happily married and everything, but they saying he a great, a great Native American chief. He just come to get the money and go back to the reservations. 
you catch him off guard, he'd be like, Octo Quax. No. Oh my goodness. I do all. I do. I do. I do. I now you don't know? It's on. He get mad. You don't even know he mad. You think he coughing up something. You be patting him on his back. Oh my goodness. He trying to let you out. He trying to let your ass know that you don't fucked up. Boy so big. You got to say his name twice. Like the top and bottom. Bruce and Bruce. Shit, I don't think comedians is even funny no more. This shit ain't even. <laughs> they got a white Bruce Bruce. What the fuck? Oh my goodness. They got a black version, a white version of every damn thing. <laughs> like people don't know, but I'm the guy that invented Beavis and Butthead. The hell is he? You stay the night at his house. Your ass ain't leaving in the morning. Oh my goodness. As soon as it turned midnight, that's when he start with that giggling shit. <laughs> like, oh shit. This nigga don't ate himself into a coma. Put the whole cake in his face, trying to hurry up before his parents get home. What the fuck is this? Little nigga. They force feeding his fat ass. Like, oh, I don't want any more cake, mom. They punish. <laughs> it look like they punishing his ass. Oh, look. I want to see him eat the cake. They waving it in his face like, you know, you want it. And why the hell this pop up when I'm talking about Bruce Bruce? Y'all see how they do? Everything that got something to do with fat or not fat. They even put Lavelle Crawford in this shit. <laughs> like, oh, you want to see Big Milk Dub Brothers? We got Big Milk Dub Brothers for you, man. The algorithm is amazing. He looked funny as hell throwing up Masonic hand gestures and shit. I'm a 33 degree mason. I started doing comedy because I, I was cleaning up around the lodge. <laughs> oh, my family, Boule. We was raised, Boule. Y'all niggas ain't, ain't never had no money. It be some boule ass niggas cracking nigga jokes. Ain't never even been through the struggle. I, we were so poor, we thought cornflakes was a five star meal. Oh no, he did. Oh no, he didn't. He like shit. I got a dating profile too. This nigga looking like Ruben Studdard. Like I'm sorry for two thousand four. He looking like he about to tear that ass up. It's some women watching the video right now. Had to cut the video off because they feeling a little hot and bothered. Like y'all know what time it is. This nigga make an R&B album. It's going to be fart sounds. <laughs> it's going to be worse than the Andre 3000 flute album. He going to play. <laughs> he going to play the flute with his ass. Damn, they got that. If these niggas could make it, just like Cat Williams said, man. If Trick Daddy could make it, your ass could make it. You ain't got no limitations and no excuses. If these niggas could make it, your ass could make it. Hey, you ain't got no excuse. You better get out there and make up a, a, a booty dance or something. Everybody trying to be some, some shit. It ain't even entertaining no more. It's a lifestyle. This is just what people do. Whatever you find entertaining, rather it be comedy or whatever, there's some people that's just doing that shit on the regular. It ain't even special no more. They got a, 
work extra hard. I can only imagine, man. They got to do extra shit. You show up in the meeting looking like that. Harvey Weinstein probably make you juggle his balls like you at the circus. The Kardashians broke his for old fucking spirit, man. That's messed up. Oh, damn. And no disrespect to him, but come on, man. Them car that oh nigga flung that sh no get that out of here Reggie what you doing don't click on it uh, how in the hell we even get on that you got Bruce 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 Jenner you got uh look at all the Bruce Willis look at this shit got Chris Tucker Bruce Willis hold on Chris Tucker said he'll never forget making Fifth Element with Bruce Willis I keep him in my prayers. Cat Williams said he was zested in the motherfucker too. Hold on. Let me look that up. Cat Wood. Tug. He said he was on Epstein Island. Talking about how he be praying for Bruce Willis. Hey Bruce, that's my friend, man. We was over on Epstein Island together. You know, it was crazy over there. You know, I, I pray for him. They got his ass. And I was having this conversation the other night. When you become famous, you start to meet some some interesting characters, some strange, some weird ass people. And if you buy into what they selling and y'all hanging and you start rolling with they pack, ain't no telling what you're going to get involved in, man. And that's with anybody out there making new friends. Hold on. I need to uh, listen to this. Damn, stupid ass. We about to get out of here in a minute, but I need to hear this real quick. It's not that. Um, we miss John Witherspoon in a way that can't really be quantified. Right. If I'm being honest with you. And um, the Chris Tucker that we got now is Epstein Island Chris Tucker. Oh, not Smokey. Oh. Damn. Why would he say that about Chris? Damn, I ain't have a clue. I know he was different. I know he, he changed, but that's what people do. I figure hell. You know, you can't expect him to be the same. I applauded him for actually making changes in his life. But uh, they saying he on some other time. He did them Jackie Chan movies and he feel like hell. He ain't got to do. He ain't trying to do nothing if it ain't on that caliber. He ain't trying to take no steps backwards. If it ain't no box office, big, big movie, he ain't even trying to do it. Shit. I don't blame his ass. You ain't about to get me on Tubi after I just did this three blockbusters. But they saying that he changed for the worst. Well, you figure if he was at Def Comedy Jam with all them other comedians and Cat Williams saying they all was zested in hell. Who gives a damn? He come out there dressed up like a thug with Michael Jackson jokes. That's how you know. They had gimmicks and shit going on back then. He came out there looking like he was about to rob the whole audience. Come to find out he ain't nowhere near none of that. Just like Andre 3000 when Outkast first came out, you would have thought he was a cold-blooded killer. Now he all about the pretty pinks and baby blues, man. Hold on. Damn. I need to see this, man. Y'all remember this shit when he came out there? He came out there a couple of times looking like a gangbanger. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They look, they know what y'all, they, they get out there and act a plum nigga until they get what they really want. They with that street shit, that thug, they would, they'll be everything that they, y'all want them to be until they get paid. Then they don't even want to be. <laughs> They don't even want to be around your black ass no more. He was on the shit. He was with the shits. 
before them checks started rolling in. Look at his ass. Public enemy number one. Now he act like he don't, he don't want to do another Friday. He just, he just do with it. Like that's the past. I wouldn't dare do that shit again, man. I did it just to get out, man. I had to get out. I had to act the damn fool. I had to be with the others. It was a circus, man. Damn, that's how they really feel about us, man. They get over to the other side of the fence and don't even look back on the other side of the fence. Damn, I didn't know he was on some Epstein shit. Look who he with. That's his homie. Look who he rolling with. He pull up to the club. You think you about to pop bottles and this motherfucker walk in the door after him. Like, what the hell going on here? I ain't nothing, man. I met him in Epstein Island, man. We cool. He cool. They said he got over to Epstein Island. Like, what the fuck is this, man? He snapped back to Smokey when he seen some of that shit going on over there. But that's Negro here, no deal. Hey, it's a few more things. I've been on here for a long ass time. It's a few more things I got to say before I get out of here. Y'all need to feel me on this. Is it anything I'm missing? Let me double check all this stuff before I go. Oh, I want to finish looking at this. Look. to the franchise yeah. of Big Mama's House, like father's like like father like son. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess my, my first question to you is, how how does it feel to to be a part of something that's become a franchise? Well, you you got the three parts. That's 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 huge right. for a movie, you know. Right. Well, it's 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 a blessing. You know, I'm very thankful. I, I I'm, I'm I always wanted to become a franchise uh, when I first uh, signed on to do it back in 2000 or whatever, and um, to see where. He full of shit. He wanted it to be a franchise. He was sold on the Big Mama brand. Oh my goodness. I'm floored. This man made a brand a franchise out of Big Mama. Keanu Reeves. He got the Matrix franchise <clears throat> where he a, a, he shooting, he doing manly shit, doing ball shit. He doing all. Hold on, man. Y'all need to see this for what it is, man. This is blowing my mind. Hold up. <clears throat> this man got the whole Matrix series. Got the Matrix Revolution. They got a a trilogy they got this is the shit this the type of contract that any man would want to have this is living the life right here you ain't no sucker you ain't no none of that you a bad ass and this is your franchise this is your baby this is something you were a part of this is your baby your ass is on some superhero x-men uh superman you you the you that motherfucker when you got a franchise like that hold up y'all help me out with some other franchises out there that people could be proud of my man not only do he got the matrix but he got the coolest gangster flick in all of hollywood john i'm about to go watch it tonight i don't bought i don't got the damn all four of them. John Mother Wick. A hell of a franchise. A beautiful, beautiful movies. I mean, epic scenery. I'm about to go watch it tonight. What time? I'm about to go put it on. Man, this ain't right. How in the hell do they get to have them type of lanes? Hold on, Reggie. Answer that. 
Hello, hello. Who this is here? Hey, Sean. You still up? Yeah, man. We over here talking about this. Hold on. You called in here already? Hold on. I got a question. It's a one phone call minimum. I can't Hold believe on. you called back. Because I forgot what I was, um, the question I had to ask you. I don't been on here way too long. You got people calling back that already don't call. That's bad. <laughs> you are tripping and I'm telling you, you are going in tonight. But I had a question. Oh, we all is, baby. What's on your mind? Okay, so how did Martin G. Chat Cat Williams on the awards or whatever? I was just about, I'm glad you said that because I need to get around to that. We don't talk about everything else, oh, but yeah. I ain't even. Yeah, well, basically, it's alleged allegations and speculations, but Cat Williams ain't safe out here in these streets. If he run into Martin, they saying he already did and it didn't go so good. So, you know, if he in Hollywood, he going to be running into Hollywood people. So that's the moral of the story. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you know, okay. mm -hmm. just call back trying to expose somebody. Matter of fact, how about you take a nap or something? And we love you to oh. death, baby. And don't you be no stranger. We gonna holler at you later. She's trying to call me out like I ain't got factual information. I ain't never said I did. It always take for one of our own to try to tear us down, but I still love her to death. Hey, hit that cash app too. And for the people that did, or rather the people that didn't the hell going on is grace in the building i love you grace thank you so much for the cash app tia marita um humble walters who else Derek roche this shit from last month where is the love and i appreciate the people that hit the cash app last month but damn y'all y'all want to hear something listen 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 real hard uh. Y'all heard, that's my stomach. I usually had two double cheeseburgers when I get done with the live stream, but I ain't gonna be able to get it. And I ain't saying that's y'all fault, but damn. All I want is a little bit of love, a little bit of sugar. I need a strawberry milkshake ASAP. I ain't gonna be begging. Matter of fact, I ain't going nowhere till I get the damn cash out. We gonna be up all night. You're going to be getting dressed, going to work, listening to this shit right here. Listen. I already see the soap around your ass. You're going to be in the shower. I'm still going to be here waiting for that. Matter of fact, I ain't got time to be playing with y'all. I thank y'all so much for watching the video. And I got one more request before I get up out of here. Subscribe to my channel if that's what you want. Subscribe to my channel if that's what you want. But if that's not what you like, then you must be a punk. Hold on now, here we go. Who is this girl? She got that junk in her trunk, baby girl.